Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the round 10 of Russian Super Finals. And sorry for any inconveniences for being late. This is, they are the Moscow traffic jams, winter wind, and a very nasty weather <laughs> didn't let us being uh, start. Didn't let us start our broadcast in time. So our apologizes for it. And uh, the game just have started, and we should quickly, quickly review the the current standings of the men's section and two players sharing the first place: uh, Karakin and, and Nepomnichi. Karakin reaches uh, Nepomnichi, even making a draw, while Nepomnichi loses to against Dubov. Dubov having plus two score. And as well as, as, well as Maxim And also, I think Vladimir Fedosev can try to reach the leader somehow. Yeah. And in the women's section, we have Palina Shuvalova in a, in a sole lead. That's plus five. Followed by uh, Alexander Gerechkina, who, who is just half a point ahead. Uh, her, uh, yeah, and Alexander Gerechkina in her turn is uh, just half a point ahead of the young prodigy uh, Lea Garifurina. And two leaders of the women's section play each other today, which is uh, supposed to be the um, central game, game of, the tournament. Of, of, of the tournament, maybe, yeah, or yeah. at least of the day. And as usual, still we'll start from the men's section. So let's put the focus on the the playing hall. Or just quick, quickly review all the pairings in the men's section. Uh, Nipomishi plays against Yesipenko. Yesipenko, it will be quite a hard game for Yesipenko for sure. He has black against Nipomishi. Uh, Peter Svidlik having a rest day. Sergei Karakin facing... Vladislav Artemiev, Nikita Vitigov playing against Maxim Vetlakov, St. Petersburg Derby, Gaganov against Chigayev, and Chigayev has a good chance to proceed, I mean, to promote to plus three, because Gaganov has minus three, and uh, yesterday he lost a very long and uh, unpleasant in terms of defending the position that he had on the board game against Andrei Sepenko, so I don't know if Goganov really wants to bounce back and win at least one game in the Super Final, but no doubts he will try to at least to have something after the opening, having white. And as opponent, uh, yes, sorry, Andrei Sepenka should be inspired by his first win yes, in this sir. tournament yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, well, the real fight is expected in his game against today. And Vladimir Fedosev facing Daniel Lubov, it's going to be quite an interesting matchup. Right. As, as we mentioned already, Polina Shuvalova versus Alexandra Garechkina in the main, main game. Uh, by the way, I see that uh -huh, this game is already over. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well known. Okay, thanks, well known. thanks to the players. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the players for this exciting game. And <laughs> that's a very well-known repetition in uh, Berlin. Knight b5, a4, knight bd4, knight d4, d d5, mm -hmm. e takes d6, knight takes d4. Even probably it's even uh, the best, the best order of moves. Queen takes d4, queen d6, queen e4, queen e6, queen d4. And as far as I know, there's also Queen G6 move for the, I mean, in the, Queen G6 can obviously complicate the game, but uh, yeah, but you you have, I mean, that's that's the price to pay. So you're complicating the game, but you're slightly worse because of check. And then White quickly develop all the pieces playing Knight C3, but that's a that's a possible way how to avoid the repetition. But Parina Shovalov decided not to, not even to try. Not to try playing the game against her uh, oh, better, better prepared and much more experienced opponent, and she decided to secure plus one lead. Well, in terms of 
uh, the tournament standings, that's quite a smart and, and especially taking in, in, into account her uh, last results. Yeah, yeah, she, she was quite feel, lucky. Uh, but yeah. uh, well, talking about chess gods, they they may disagree with Pauline, and they be very sad of this because I cannot blame her. But uh, yeah, basically, well, it's all about the fate. So if the fates say that she will take the first place, it would be the wise decision. And if she will fail to win the last game or the additional, I mean, on, on the final setting, she will be the second, that wasn't a good decision and it will be some kind of a uh, good, good lesson. Okay, and what, what about Alexander Virachkin? Would you try some more aggressive opening in this uh, no, tournament situation? No, she, but she, she, she plays back and uh, it's a kind of uh, it's a kind of a good manner. Uh, I don't know even how to explain it. So if you play black, there is no necessity to push. That's the rule. That that's a very common rule. And obviously, white is a side that at least has to try. At least yeah. not to repeat the moves at uh, no. on move 15. Yeah, that's true. But if it, for example, if it was last round, okay, in this current situation, okay. Well, Alexandra will have white pieces tomorrow and will will try yes, to yes. push I mean, hard, of course. Yes, of course. He still has uh, has a chance no, to No, the last catch, round is a bit different story. Because now Shovalova doesn't secure anything because in the last round she has a black. I don't know whom she plays against, so she... I'm trying to figure out whom she haven't played yet. Have she played against... Um, Alexandra Kostinyuk? Yeah, she did. The second round she beat her. So maybe Yeah, don't yeah, she don't already remember. played against Tatiana Getman, I think. It's all about the last round, but still I'm not sure and I've seen a lot of scenarios. Maybe Olga Giria. Maybe she will face Olga Giria, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. With, with black pieces. Well, okay, yeah, that's maybe a good calculation. Olga is uh, And anyway Gorechkin has great. whites yeah. and we have to calculate the Oh, okay. The yeah. additional values. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I, anyway, I, I yeah. can't decide, but uh, frankly speaking, uh, I've never. I mean, instead of playing with the friends, I've never opted for the. I think once I have opted for the repetition in some open tournament because it was double round. I decided to make the first game a quick draw, and then I had another game. So that was the only game of mine when I decided to make a quick draw with White. Okay, and another game has just finished. Nikita Vitikov, wow. Maxim Matlakov. Oh my gosh. And Nikita probably also that's, feels... I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's a what about... What about the fate? It had to be a very crazy day. So I was in a traffic jam. And then I didn't have a time to have a meal, have lunch. Then we were a little bit late because of some technical issues. Then we have just two the same. Isn't it just uh, it's, it's some paranormal activity, really? <laughs> we can f write another script for the... Yeah, and Alexandra Gorechkina will examine the young... Uh, Getman tomorrow. Uh -huh. So, well, that's probably the reason why both players are satisfied with their result today. So, Alexandra, I mean, will 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 push hard. This is for sure. And uh, Polina will try to hold uh, Olga Gira, and maybe even. Okay, maybe in terms of tournament uh, settings, it's a normal decision, but. That's yeah. all about psychology. That's right. all about psychology. Right. Oh yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I don't really remember when I uh, made a draw with white and purpose. I mean, well, sometimes it happens that uh, you, you fall into uh, good preparation and you don't have anything. You know, that's, I just mm. figured out that it's all about payback because I remember I felt bad and I played against Vladislav Artemov in some tournament and I was probably half a point ahead mm -hmm. and I had a white. And I decided to opt for the sharp line while I was feeling so bad. I had a severe allergy and I lost the game. And finally, I was like forced in the tournament. Mm. And he, Artemi, won the tournament. And then I had a lot of paybacks because of 
every 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 time I played the decisive game, I always tried to push when I had an op an an opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's that's a payback. Right. No, of course. Okay. Well, everybody decides for his own. Uh, yeah, but it's a bit disappointing for because you need. I mean, being young, you need you, you need to learn how to play the decisive games, and obviously, it's not the first, and it's not the last super final for Polina Shvalova. So it's 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 in my point of view, it's better to start learning now, not uh, prolonging into mm -hmm. the the other the other days. But anyway, the two results in less than 20 minutes. I, at least I can understand Vitigov and Matlakov being in the seconds of Peter Swidler, having a lot of mutual analysis. Well, I basically, I had, an, I had, I had, I, I had a clue that uh, it won't be a long game. But it's just quite peculiar that both games uh, have finished in just absolutely the same manner. <laughs> Yeah, but a um, few dozens of games have finished. On yeah, the same yeah, yeah. So, so at least quite... in every tournament, out of 100 games, at least two, three finish with queen e4, queen d4. I'm pretty sure. Right, right. Okay, let's uh, see what what what's going on in other games. So, yeah, let's see Nipomish against Jesse Penko. Wow, that that was a Petrov. That was a patch of quite a sharp line. Bishop f5. I remember a very good game, one of the most brilliant games I've ever seen. Paravian winning against Golubov Chigorin maybe two years ago. I strongly recommend to watch it and analyze. D5. I think that was already played against Andrei Sipenko by Sergei Karakin. Queen c7, rook e1. So Andrei probably improved his line. And Bishop h6. I don't remember. Well, at least bishop h6 looks so so unexpected. Bishop takes h6, g takes h6, queen g4, queen king h8, and knight f5. Bishop, queen, pawn, rook. So I'm not pretty sure about taking on f5, but then f6. Also, h6 is hanging, rook e6 can be the line. Looks quite risky. So bishop takes, queen takes, f6, and rook ad1 is played instantly. And the point being that white sk black king's position is so exposed. But Isipenko is still following his prep, as it seems to me. And, it ha and he has to remember his analysis for sure. Ad otherwise... I think Jan did play this line already. Yes, so, uh, that's yeah. what I mentioned against Sergei Karakin. Right. So, could black really develop the queen side? Let's say playing knight d7. Looks quite risky. Probably even pawn takes. Queen g6? Queen g6 is what knight e5 can be played. Take queen h7. Uh, queen h7, yeah. Mm -hmm. So rook d1, knight d7, but the thing I didn't like that uh, d takes c6 was somehow annoying. Annoying me. Oh, the maybe knight d5, maybe, because if queen take, then bishop, bishop b5. b5 at least. If pawn take, then at least something. Ah, queen, queen d3 is not an option. Yeah? Queen, queen e6. Well, maybe. Queen at, a least six something, something, at least something. At least something. It has to be something is in the, in the queen e6, knight e5 still. Something. No, but then rook takes. Rook takes, knight c4, rook c6. Yeah, yeah, but may maybe rook e8. Sorry, instead knight takes c4. Uh -huh. Yeah, rook e8. Okay, not that simple then. Some calculations so or knowledge is needed. So knight d7, but well, it just feels that there should be some refutation after knight d7. I mean, or it can be a computer move. Knight a6 if... Still d takes c6 is, looks quite reasonable. But I don't know. Anyway, let's wait for Andre. I'm sure he, he will opt for the, the, the best move. 
And the feather safe against Dubov, we've got e4, e5. What's going on there? c3, f5, mm -hmm. d3, queen f6. This is somewhat similar that Dubov played against Rajabov in the recent Hamburg, well, not recent, last year Grand Prix in Hamburg. But that was Rui Lopez, or? Really? Uh, no, no. I don't is. know. I mean, I just remember this pawn yeah, because with 5G5. Yeah, because which, this idea is uh, is getting, um, I mean, very fashionable nowadays. But in, ru in rural Lopez. Uh -huh. I mean, bishop b5, and then d6, c3, f5. Yeah. So, so that's a kind of a transposition to Janish Gambit? Or not, not exactly, because uh, a6 is... Uh, no, c3 is played already. Uh -huh. the, the main difference is that c3 is played. Okay. d6, c3. Anyway, f4, bishop, d7, castle, castle. <laughs> this is exciting. And uh, white should use the awkwardness of h6 knight somehow. I would really consider bishop b3. Don't ask me why, maybe because of like the idea was to prevent e takes a four and eighty five, but uh, it's not really hanging. I don't know. Or maybe creating a threat of taking e five by ourselves, and then f take e takes f five. I don't know. It's so complex. Well, when we have such a pawn clash in the center, normally we try to to move all the pieces towards maybe the center as, as quick as possible. Too. Yeah, but maybe b to b four is. Also tempting. And then maybe, e, yeah, I don't know. It takes a four. Yeah, it's so complex because like maybe knight e five. Knight e five, and that that was the reason why I decided to play knight b three first. But then knight b three still is not that mm. bad. Sorry, bishop b three. Yeah, but it's still not over. Knight f7, the line is not over. Knight g6, knight h7, nothing wrong with it. At least optically. There are too many possibilities. Yeah, so, okay. We will leave it for the iron. No no need to analyze it by hand. Yeah. Good home preparation can be useful in this sort of position. Yeah, of course. So, what else? Chigogaev, uh, Goganov against Chigaev. English bishop g2 e5 knight c3 knight c6 e4 d6 knight g2 knight h6 d3 f5 knight d5 castle h4 this is somewhat very very typical in this line but i've rarely seen knight on h6 in this order of moves and i don't even know why knight h6 was played instead of some normal knight e7 Maybe it's still a theory, and then f5 comes at 1, knight d5, castle h4. I may recall the game between Valery Popov and Kir not Kirill Xing, but that probably was a little bit different stuff, but I just remember that the plan was just the same, playing h4, h5, bishop g5. The, uh, the whole idea, the, the using using exploiting the the knight on h6 mm -hmm. the awkwardness of knight on h6 and it's not an easy task for black to find the plan there yeah let's say knight f7 is quite logical taking the control on g5 square but oh, i wouldn't hesitate though. playing h5 and this is somewhat just in terms of being human is un unpleasant for black. Yeah. Because, because at least white receives the position they they were aiming to. But black do not really. And white can always castle long and uh, his king will be safe while, mm -hmm. while black king is uh, on a direct attack. So uh, indeed it's sort of unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, h4 is quite aggressive by Goganov. That could have been expected. So, still, he is eager to. Knight f7 is played, right? He is eager to win at least a single game in the third super final. I don't remember him winning even a single game there. 
Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Like a lot of the draws a pair of losses, and this is his usual result. Mm. So he's being quite solid, but not not good enough to convert the advantage. So, so h5 knight f6 is, is playing, right? knight f7 is playing it, played indeed. h5 is, well, it's quite an obvious prediction. h5 mm -hmm. and you, well, I think g5 shouldn't be that good. And in this particular line, I would really consider h6 still. Bishop probably takes... Yeah, because at least after knight h6, you have to calculate bishop take g5. And... Uh, it seems to me that trading the c7 pawn on h pawn is, is not that black do really want. No, yeah. So bishop, bishop yeah. takes h6. Well, still the line is not over, but now... When I sacrifice the pawn, it's time to play positionally. Maybe take on f5, play bishop b4, knight e c3 first. Well, I, I would rather take, take, and play somewhat like knight c3, or bishop e3, or bishop e4, still. Uh, why take on f5 first? What is, what is, what I is did your like, reason? I didn't like that after bishop h6, if I play knight c3 first, mm -hmm. you f4. have an option to play f4. And uh, despite the fact that I still can play queen h5, you somehow look solid. Mm. But maybe I'm mistaken, maybe I'm deeply mistaken, and black is just already lost. Because uh, <laughs> it's looked like, it looks like black is totally stalemated, because they can treat it with a queen, always c7 is hanging, you need to pay attention to f6 square. Bishop can go to e6, but it still remains pointless. So yeah, you cannot even move the bishop queen. Bishop d2 castle. I would, even, I would consider yeah, bishop even, h3, even like bishop in terms h3. of positionally, white is just winning. Yeah, look. doesn't look attractive for black. Obviously. Maybe 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 g4 can, but then f4 is hanging, right? G4 with queen g5 idea, I think, but... Uh -huh. yeah, no, but so c7 is hanging. No, this line, yeah. right? Knight, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, anyway, g5 somehow, I, I'm not sure about g5, just in general. But meanwhile, Alexei is not in a hurry to push h5. Yeah, he is not, but then h6 could be, um, could be the refutation. And you will not be in time to push h5, h6. Mm -hmm. So at least it has to be considered. I would rather play h5. Yeah, that looks very, very natural after h4 played in the previous move. Once again, h5, maybe still there no necessity to react. No need to react. Maybe you can get rid of this d5 knight somehow, but it's not an easy task for sure. Maybe knight e7 can be the can be the move. Mm -hmm. Oh, still just opening an h file. Yeah, I, mean, I would still consider taking on g6 and playing something. Seems a good idea for de white. Developing. Well, maybe like just bishop e3, queen d2, and yeah, so on. Looks quite good. Maybe we need to take on e7 first just to avoid. It. No, maybe sh maybe he can take on d5 and c6. Then you mean there? Yeah, Bishop is yeah I'm mean, looking takes. for some counterplay at least. And but I can't even take with an e-pawn. Ah, with e-pawn you think, yeah. Mm. Well, I would rather take with c-pawn. And then c6 and maybe c6. c6. Sort of you have to calculate some e takes f5. Your king's position looks quite exposed. Right. So probably you take with a pawn, otherwise I play nice c3, I take a full control mm -hmm. of e square. And then it's almost a mate, I think. It's almost a mate. Looks quite dangerous. Probably losing. Yeah, okay, yeah. And this is somewhat I don't really like in mm, black setup, this awkwardness of h6 knight. I know it's probably a theory. It could be the theory, but if the theory is bad, there is no reason to play it. h5. I do not like black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chigayev was opting for the very solid lines during the whole tournament and probably he's being too ambitious for this game. I mean, I just... Uh, it just clearly corresponds with the position on the board. Because uh, I, may, I, I can imagine him never playing this line against some 2700 guy. Because optically it looks just worse. 
at least it's very very risky no necessity to yeah but what is strange that I say is raise still thinking level of I mean yeah. so okay. I, I, I can't, can't get the whole point why, why not H5 I mean yeah the only possible uh, reason of hesitation may be G5 but then H6 is yeah so I mean like at least black and okay black and white white to sacrifice the pawn mm -hmm. but yeah, just in case, let's imagine if white do not. We take on f5. We take on f5, probably. Mm -hmm. Even there, I still mm. can play in bishop e3 or bishop e4 first. No, but then h6, so th that, I mean... Well, we have to make a move first. Mm. So queen d7 doesn't work. You have to retreat with the bishop. I do not believe bishop e4 cannot be worse position with this kind of square. Yeah, well, it's also so true. play bishop e6 and then uh, we can play h6 still or even wait for your h6. But okay, this one is at least playable in comparison to h6 line with right. Uh, right, right. g5, h6. Well, both players, both, both pieces, knight on f7 and bishop on g7 are, are not well placed anyway. Even if computer says zeros uh, in terms of being human, this position is much better for white, much right. easier to play. And Nipomishi against Yesipenko, we've got a, a bunch of moves. Rook AD1 and C takes D5 was played after 15 minutes of thinking. But Rook AD1, Knight D7, was anything wrong with it? Do white win there? Knight E5 is a clear intention. Well, if if we find the way, then I'll understand why ninety seven. Oh, okay, been. as rook d one was played on the premier, pre, previous move, so I I I, I feel like d takes c six should be mm -hmm. the answer. B takes right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what about simple? I don't know. Queen h five. No, then maybe knight e5, rook d6, knight c4. Uh, it's still hard to believe, but maybe this is the reason. But shouldn't be good for black. Rook c6, maybe. Yeah. maybe this rook, one. rook c6, rook c6. Wow, that's cute. But is it winning really? Uh, I, okay, I, I we're cannot forced to see any defense. We're forced to take or queen f4. Okay. Queen f4, I do not really believe. Yeah. Take, take, then... Check, one more check, and rook e7. Check, and rook e7. But there is... Uh, it doesn't work. King I takes, and rook h7 mate. King takes, and yeah. rook h7 mate. Otherwise, it would be quite cute. Yeah. Okay, fine. Rook d5, but c takes d5 first is somewhat... A like uh, helping I, white pieces I, I, yeah, to, I don't yeah, admire it. to come to the center. I do not admire it. So it's like decreasing uh, decreasing the tension or giving up the tension. I guess knight c six can still be made by something like queen g six or queen h five. Yeah, right? for sure. But the same. No, then knight e five maybe okay. Maybe queen h five is a bit more accurate. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll play king g three then. Yeah, but then rook. I don't know somewhere. E4. E4, looks, knight, E5. Maybe I'm in time mm. to protect it somehow. Well, optically it looks so dangerous, but could it be that something has been misplayed before? And queen G4, king H8, knight F5. Yeah, so of course bishop H6 could be just a, a sandstorming move. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere. You would barely expect bishop h6 there. But then it's not that clear how to defend this h2 pawn and the bishop is saying. So bishop h6, g takes queen check, king h8, knight f5, and bishop f5 was played quite instant, uh, quite, quite quickly. And I'm not sure that it was the most accurate order of moves. At least now position looks so dangerous for luck. 
why its compensation is quite obvious. Rook takes d5, everything is centralized. White has a pawn for the piece and... I wouldn't be surprised to find out that this position is already lost. Yes, and either me. So... Okay, let's check one again. Knight c6. Knight, king, queen, h5. Oh, queen, 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 g6, I don't know. Maybe we, 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 we can transpose, we can check once and Maybe, maybe king h7 now. Ah, yeah, then g3, check, yeah. then we just uh, improve our pieces. Oh, maybe, okay. maybe rook h5 now was possible, right? Okay, let's say we started from queen h... Yeah, rook d5, knight c6. We play queen g6 first. I mean, it will be just straightforward. So knight, knight e5. e5. And rook takes e5 is also considered... Uh, but no, no, sorry, but what... Ah. Rook takes e5 is nice. I don't know mm -hmm. if it works, but at least it looks nice. And then bishop takes, maybe. And bishop takes, for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's check then bishop h5 or bishop h3. I don't know which one is more accurate. Bish uh, sorry, queen, 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 queen h5 or queen h3 on the previous move. Queen h3, let's say. No, I don't see so far a particular reason to put it on h3, but still, yeah. King g7, maybe queen g4. Okay, we just can come back maybe to the same position. Rook h5, right? Yeah, it looks winning, but I wouldn't be that surprised if back holds somehow still. Okay, let's try G G three. H four. H four knight e five. I wasn't that sure. Uh, not for knight e five. Yeah, man. You can try f four, but then, then the position is not that easy. Mm -hmm. To to understand what's going on. At least some checks and white it should be careful. Mm -hmm. Probably I can even take on a four. I don't know. Not not really. G takes a four. Okay, anyway, this is not a clear way to win the game, but still position is tend to be dangerous. Right. Okay, let's see what's going on in other games. Sergey Karakin. Karakin against Artemiev. We've got uh, Rui Lopez in G6 line, right? I oh, know it's Stainis. It's Stainis. The D4, Knight of 6, Rook E1, Bishop G7, H3, avoiding Bishop G4 ideas. Bishop C to B5, Bishop E3. Take, take, Knight B4, Knight C3. And so Karakin decided to give up the Bishop. Mm -hmm. And still probably following his prep, his positive on time. Rather, rather rare idea mm, to, give the up the to give up the light square bishop, yeah. But still, well, yeah, but it looks very good, yeah. White has the center, all the In this particular case, I, I, I may I may accept it. Mm -hmm. That, well, d5, bishop d4 is one of the ideas. It should be, it should be worse for white. Let's say queen c2, we play rook e8. Well, rook c1 or rook d1, I think. Mm, I would rather choose. But b4 is hanging. At least it has to be considered. So b4 is the threat. Well, okay, for example, rook c1 still. Rook c1, b4. Knight d5. Take on d5, probably. Maybe take on e4 is also possible. And maybe take on e4 is also possible. Who knows? Mm. So, it's, yeah, it's far from being clear. No, but then, 94, queen takes c7, maybe. It's Still, the bad. game goes on, I don't know. Mm. Bishop e6, whatever. B4 is hanging. Well, but uh, white is not better. No? I don't think so. Mm. Black has a pair of bishops. This is what we do both. No, like. that's true, yeah. And, uh, like, instead of knight before, do white has a direct threat? Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe like not. Maybe a5 is good enough. Yeah, I mean, it, just, it should be like approximately equal. But then and then at b6 also, sorry. Maybe knight b6 is another threat. Maybe even more dangerous. Okay. 
Well, but still it shouldn't be that dangerous for black. So we can give up the pawn, steal a pair of bishops. Maybe we, we should play a bit more accurately at rook ac1 instead of... And uh, still I can't see anything wrong mm -hmm. with take, take and play rook a7. Mm -hmm. It just seems to be quite logical and... And the point being that queen a8 is an idea. Bishop, and bishop g5 goes is, somewhere. Bishop g5 is nothing. Bishop g5 is a threat, but queen a8, okay. Let me take e8. Bishop. Rook e1. Ah, d5 is not, not hanging yet. Okay, rook e1 then. Well, but, but probably it's not about the the tactics right now. Mm -hmm. I can try this one. Mm -hmm. And bishop f7. <laughs> yes, probably. Probably. Just a pair of bishops and the pawn is quite weak. And I mean, it's, it looks yeah, a bit awkward, true. but it's a kind of... Well, it's not even a modern, a, a, a modern fashion of putting the queen on a8 and rook on a7. It's not about Maximiliano Itelki. It's not about some guys who play g6, b6 on the regular basis and show mm -hmm. some brilliant games. But okay, that's yeah, all about this uh, is, quite logical things. Yeah, this is quite solid. I mean, yeah, taking the bishop means that black has somehow avoided some... Well, rook, some positional rook, difficulties. Yeah, rook e8 looks very... Very Rook uh, natural may, 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 Maybe it's not as simple because of e5. I just uh, suddenly figure out that e5 can be played and mm -hmm. we do not have a good retreat. But then bishop f5 and we might receive some squares on d7 either, or e4. But still, still the line is open. And after queen d2, I'd rather play b4. Putting the bishop knight on d5 then. Mm -hmm. So... Well, maybe still a tier, still a prep. At least Korea can play so fast. I mean, there might be some reason behind. He he tend to be a very deep player, I would say. Korea can usually takes all his time before makes a move. At least uh, he he doesn't make a, an easy go. He doesn't make an easy going decision mm -hmm. decisions. So queen c2, well, rook e8 is line, but maybe there are some underwater stones. So I think we've quickly browsed every single game of the men's section. We can switch to the women and, well, obviously we're quite happy to see quick to, two quick results. But Yeah, but there is another important game today, a fight for the last place as well. No, but it's not about the fight for the last place. We will not be that... Uh, I don't know. Cruel. Yeah, cruel. Okay, we will not. But still, let's, let's consider this game as an important encounter of two young players. Well, I'm pretty sure both of them will perform quite good in the Super Final. And the only quite sad thing that I've can really underline and mention that, well, I just still remember this game between Grigory and Shuvalov yesterday and still cannot believe it couldn't, uh, it wasn't, it hasn't been winning, it hasn't been, uh, pardon my, sorry my word. So she it, didn't it, just it, manage to win that. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, this is one of the... Uh, moments when I disagree with uh, Evgeny Tomashevsky's overview because I, I'm following his overview every day. It's a big pleasure for me. But yesterday she said it was just about blunder. I mean, uh, any move wins but knight uh, by, by king e4. But I think that uh, in general, white should not have allowed this position already when a single blunder can lead to, of to course, disaster. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, letting black king to approach the a4 pawn is is a is huge technical mistake. It just it's not about tactical blunder. I mean, just technically, it is not possible. Fully agree. Yeah, that's that was my. Yeah, so you just know that with the cutting king and the knight, it is impossible even to reach the pawn. So it just proceeds via the A file. Especially, it's been already. It's especially it's already been on A4. So I mean, A5, yeah. Okay, but let us not be so severe toward the youngest player taking yeah, out I mean, all her, all this tension and maybe tires as well. As well, uh, okay, 
I, I, I think she has everything to improve and perform even better. She is a quite a good tactical next, player, yeah. and she has to improve her strategical strategical game. And uh, I think next year, if she qualifies to the super final again. We will like see another Her, her another expectation player, yeah. score will be about 50%, mm -hmm. at least. And we've got King Zinian there, Knight F3, Castle H3, Mako, A6. It's a rare move, I don't know it, actually. And then Queen C2 is played instead of the other logical options. I don't know why White hesitated to play Bishop E3, which seemed to be a progress move in this setup with H3. Then queen c2, c5, d5, e6, bishop d3, b5. And somehow black transposed to the good modern Benoni slash Benko. And this is what I do like for black. Mm -hmm. um, well, d takes that, c6 can be considered, mm, but then like f takes c6. Yeah, probably. but I, I, I wouldn't. If it's possible to hold the, the center, I would, I would try to. So... Uh, but how, White has no time for b3, right? b3 will be met by b4 and knight xc4, I guess. At least. But otherwise, I mean, I, I would try to, to hold the center by b4. But maybe maybe still castle. I mean, I would prefer castle in this position <laughs> rather than take an e5. I take on d5. e takes. But this is somewhat unpleasant in terms of uh, Benko. So I take and I gain a couple of tempies. Yeah, and then that, yeah, bishop f5. Yeah, so, I, 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 this I agree, is the yeah. awkwardness of this c2 queen. So I don't know what was wrong with playing. No, uh, bishop still in that position, maybe bishop d4, bishop d3, and maybe nothing is still. Maybe maybe you should not hurry up with bishop f5. Maybe knight d7 first. And yeah, yeah, black has a plenty of options. But any anyway, I, I think I would I would still play. Black should be okay, but I would prefer to play this position maybe still. Then knight, yeah, and then bishop f5 will come, yeah. That may lead to some transposition to mm -hmm. queen c2, Ben line. Right, no, okay, black More is fine, yeah, I, I agree. The b3, fine. bishop b7, or, or bishop f5, I don't know, whatever. Maybe bishop f5. So at cool. least that's a position that black is usually happy in Benko. Mm-hmm. E black is usually happy with in Benko. B5. Or well, what about c takes b5 still? E takes d5. E takes? But are you in time even to castle? But maybe, maybe, maybe this is the most mo most principal way. Check yeah, first, bishop anyway, three, bishop, bishop b3, three. a takes b5. Bishop takes. Ah, so I, yeah, I allowed you... Uh, white should go for it, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm, I, I think that white should go for it. Do, do, maybe I shouldn't include rook a check. Uh, yeah, but just just take and then knight takes d5, right? Okay, bishop takes Please. b5 and, and just knight takes b5. Knight takes or I can try b bishop b7 while you're not castled yet. Yeah, also. Also yeah. bishop f5. Yeah, I mean, this one, I think, is just better for black. Mm, maybe. White has spoiled a lot of yeah, the the Queen is mis misplaced on c2. Like, completely, yep. for, for many reasons. d5 is coming and bishop f5 is coming, and that's true. That's true, yeah. Probably black is absolutely fine, and even even more. Maybe. I would try this one still. You, f you takes... No, no, but why not? Bishop takes... A bishop takes with just the same idea. C takes b5. Yes, takes and d5 somehow. I don't know. Are you in time? Maybe mm. you are. Yeah, but that's a quite a program stuff. Mm -hmm. Quite common stuff. E no. takes d5. No, it takes. I takes. Maybe I can try castle. Oh, then try even even, even after knight takes this knight takes c3, black should not be much worse according to my yeah, yeah, yeah. Benko experience. Queen a5, for example. It should be. It should be the truth. Yeah, that's, so that's just a game and uh, black is fine, absolutely. So A4 can be the move, but then you take on C3 and black that is absolutely is, fine. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so B5, black is already fine and uh, it's not that easy for white to... At least uh, we figure out after the third attempt that D6 is, D takes C6 at least is not leading to the worse position, but the other moves could, could be potentially dangerous for white. Well, probably white should have played a4, yeah? Just to prevent b5, otherwise, I mean... Yeah, so this is a very typical move. Mm -hmm. But then she probably didn't like e takes d5, but then that's a modern Benoni with queen and c2, which plays a bit awkwardly, but still, right. white is somehow... Yeah, white is still fine. Maybe even mm -hmm. slightly better, because it's modern Benoni. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean... If it would be a great opening 
a lot of 2700 grandmasters would play it with black, but you would rarely see it on, on the top level. I know Vugar Gashimov was a very famous Benoni player. Right. And nowadays, I think Daniel Dubov plays it uh, some t uh, from time to time. I used to play it for also. Yeah, but maybe, now it's maybe, a bit maybe, maybe out a of bunch fashion. Of games. It's out of fashion. I remember Grishu played against against Karana in uh, Berlin candidates. Mm -hmm. Well, and Benoni, by the way, is one of my f most uh, favorite openings with black pieces. I just like this romantic <laughs> romantical setup with pawn on c5, some attacking chances, mm -hmm. very unusual positions. So because this uh, opening is more or less out of patterns, and uh, this is the way how you can puzzle your opponent and make him uh, mm -hmm. mistake, mistakening. And let your fantasy uh, imagination yeah, yeah. work. Yeah? yeah, one of my favorite games is Spassky against Fischer. Uh, World Championship Reykjavik Game 3, I think there's been only Knight H5 idea, mm -hmm. which even nowadays seems to be quite yeah, logical. Knight H5 is still, I mean, one of the... Also Korshnoi Kasparov in uh, Benoni with G3, just a fantastic game. Uh, Van Veli Topalov in uh, 1996, I think Rook Sacrifice in H3, Bishop B3 line. I remember a bunch of games played in Benoni, quite beautiful, quite beautiful games. So basically, this is my favorite opening with white and the black, to be honest. So, um, anyway, a6 and queen c2. Of course, a6 has been a surprise because queen c2, in my point of view, is not the best reaction, at least mm -hmm. according to the position of the game. So b5, d takes c6, played indeed. And uh, well, well bishop e6. I, 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 I would also consider f takes e6. Right. This is also possible. This is also possible. Yeah. So it means that uh, if, let's say, you take on b5, then we play d5, castle, and uh, still the game goes on. I can play bishop b7, probably. I don't know. Or maybe take on b5 what, first. What, what about c4, d4? C4. Wow, c4 just winning the, po the piece, right? Well, maybe not. The rook, d8, rook d1 is still there. Uh huh. You mean d4, rook d1, right? Yeah, maybe d3. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, it's funny. It stuff. looks quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, probably black is just much better already. <laughs> okay, you have queen a4, but the line is not over yet. I don't know, knight d7, maybe. I would also consider knight fd7. It's a bit funny, but the point being that I do really want sacrifice on f3. <laughs> Okay, that's my fantasy. It can be, it can go wrong anyway. Okay. What about the other games? Green against Galamova. Another G letter derby. G3, G6, Bishop G2. Once again, Valentina invites for taking on C4, but then. Uh, she says to herself, no, it's too much, I'll take. Knight e5, yeah. Cup of Kasparov. Mm. The knight c6 is played, it's also knight g4 is a move. Well, the main move here used to be... Yeah, but e6 also, e6, e knight g4. E6 is a possible move, yeah. B takes knight c3, bishop f5, queen a4, queen b6, b3. But this is more or less... I think that's a theoretical also. Mm -hmm. And e5 is played. That's that's ambitious. So what was what's wrong with d takes e5? Knight g4. Knight g4, we played bishop e3. Uh, pardon me, we cannot. Aha, uh -huh, so this is the reason. But e5 in this t type of position is commonly met by e5, so... Mm -hmm. No, no surprise. Can we still play h3, knight e5, and then bishop e3? So oh. I want to take control queen, of this square. Queen, queen b7, maybe. Queen b7. And this is somewhat I do like for white son. I can't explain why, but... Bishop d4, let's see. Oh, if you manage to or bishop, put your knight okay. on c5, I yeah, would yeah, agree bishop, with bishop you. Bishop d4 then. is a bit premature, we will start with rook c1. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we will not be in time, this is the point, but... Who knows? 
But I do like white somehow. Mm -hmm. But maybe rook a c8. And then I just implement the same plan. Also considering queen h4 with an idea to play bishop h6. Mm -hmm. At least white's game is much easier. So e5 and I doubt it's uh, Valentina's time to move. I've got a, I've got an idea. After h3, may I play? Well, maybe I cannot. Bishop takes e5. Uh huh. Well, I take. I think I will be slightly better. I know, probably I've got your point. Bishop takes c3. I take on f5. You take on e1. And then, well, I've, I've been considering f takes g6, but I'm not sure about the evaluation. But then I liked bishop e3 somehow. Yeah. You play d4, bishop and H6, so I play bishop yeah. h6. The point being that, yeah, let's say if you retreat with the bishop, I take on f6, take on g6, take on c6, I'm a pawn up, and I have a better structure. Right. So probably I'm still fine there. Yeah, probably it doesn't work. I mean, just optically, this position seemed to be with the one. Uh, then, then so d5. Sorry, then one. another question. After h3, knight f2. knight f2 immediately? Well, I haven't calculated yet, but uh, at least rook f2, bishop mm -hmm. e5. Yeah, I think I've seen a protection. I think I've seen a protection. I don't remember exactly how. Maybe bishop b2. Mm -hmm. Bishop, bishop takes g3, and I play knight d1. Okay, that's complicated, and that's quite unclear. Maybe black is even better. But I'll try to use the weakness of this dark square. Bishop, sure, uh, yeah, maybe rook a, e8. Mm -hmm. Bishop d4 I have. C5, C5. Yeah, I'll still. C5, maybe I can take on f5. C takes yeah, some strange C stuff, I don't know, really. Maybe black is fine. Maybe it's even better. Oh, at least that's a considerable option. Okay, Valentina okay. with black would not hesitate. No, they the five rook, oh, no, it's two rook f two, bishop e five. Maybe I have something better. But uh, looks quite tempting. Bishop d two, let's say. Bishop g three still. Bishop g three. I play rook f one. Yeah. No. Okay. Rook e eight probably. I don't know which one. No. F4 now maybe, maybe rook f e eight. Um, yeah, well, and the game goes on, and uh, black is somehow no, oh, fine. Oh, okay, black has a lot of black square weaknesses, so maybe... E3. Maybe, yeah. Uh, still rook E3. Still tricky. <laughs> yeah, so, but I, you only have two pawns. So if you take on F2, I will be two pieces against the rook and two pawns with this... Uh, yeah, with these black, weaknesses, yeah. Uh, dark uh, light, sorry. No, no. Yeah, with this weak dark, uh, dark squares, it won't be that easy to proceed. Mm -hmm. Pogonian against Garifuna, you've got uh, Queen's Gambit. Yeah, no, E3. Is it a Queen's Gambit still, or this is Tukir no, Tort? No, no, not at all. Tukir Tort, or, or what is it? I don't know the name, actually. With bishop, when bishop remains on C1, this um, Queen's Gambit structure with Bishop C1. Passive Queen's Gambit. It can be transposed to some, I don't know, um, so or maybe after accepted. B6, Bishop B7, sort of uh, Queen's so. Indian, yeah? Maybe, but uh, what, what happened then? D takes C4. Castle. Ah, but then, then it's this is transposition. No, it's not. Queen's gambit accepted. Just one, one ah, tempo down. Uh -huh. One tempo down for for white, right? Simply I'm, as I'm, simple as this. No, mm, it's hard to compare for me, to be honest. Queen b6. Queen's, queen's queen. gambit accepted. Just uh, we, we, well, I mean, is it just a theoretical position after queen e2? I think it is. C takes d4, rook d1. This no, is just normally the castle is not played in this position. This is, is castle, ca castle is not there. So e5, we, we discussed this position already. Really? The main line is e5, he takes, he takes, knight e5, knight e5, queen e5, queen d6, but castle is not played yet, usually. Okay, but why just spot the tempo? Taking, I mean, normally bishop c4, c4 comes uh -huh. in one tempo. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll yeah. believe you, but uh, yeah, just, I'm just lazy to check it. Probably you're right. H3, queen b6, queen e2, c takes, e takes, knight d4. <laughs> and with this pawn on h3, well, at least the sacrifice is quite considerable. Bishop e3 will come, probably. Yeah, we need a tempo moves. Queen 
a c6 maybe even instead of queen c7 i don't know queen c6 can be faced with bishop b5 or knight b5 yeah this is somewhat strange queen c7 okay queen c7 what is the idea a5 right or i don't know well maybe a5 but still bishop d7 even <laughs> yeah, I can't get the point. Seems that black has just a healthy extra pawn. Okay, maybe there is some reason behind. But Garifuna is just very comfortable on time, and her position is also promising. Yeah, very strange play by Natalia. Yeah, but that's around 10, so then... Yes, but the whole tournament she plays quite, I mean... Um, <laughs> Passive is the right wall. And the, think, this yeah. is, I saw this also a Benko Gambit, but that was just the Moscow line of Sicilian bishop a4, c3, knight f6, bishop c2, b5, d4, bishop b7, knight d2, queen c7, uh huh, rook c8, d5, mm -hmm. but it should be good for black. b6, c4. I'm not 100% sure about the c4, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I can get the point. The point being that then bishop on b7 is stuck, mm -hmm. and so black has to we waste a lot of tempos play, yeah. to play bishop c8 and c4. And, uh, no, and, the, and the, maybe the whole setup, it's rook c8 also is not yeah, needed, yeah. but then... Okay, let's say if black castles, we do not allow white... Yeah, to, yeah, it, 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 would, it would be maybe... Um, no, okay, I, I think that rook b1, b3 should be played. What else? Isn't it too long? It's hard to say. <laughs> But it makes sense, in my opinion. I mean, maybe h3, maybe h3 should be should be played. Otherwise, knight g4, knight d5 will come. So black is usually trying to get rid of pair of. Uh, knights, maybe right? by the way, maybe black should play it immediately, just without castling. Why? Because of h3. Oh, because of h3. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, I'll, I'll believe you. C4, knight g4. Mm -hmm. the, maybe something. this is this is very critical. If we just grab the pawn and. Oh, ah, this is not pretending ah, to be another, greedy. No, but this is another another story, and knight will come to to c4. Yeah, why not? By the way. Yeah, but the thing I didn't like that after a takes b5, you oh, probably have takes. to take with oh. the pawn because queen takes I didn't like because of bishop b6, ah. and somewhat I received the position I was aiming. For. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah. So now you're forced to take knight right. takes, and the rook is hanging 95. Right. Oh, okay, maybe maybe pawn takes castle, right? Pawn takes castle. Some tactical stuff, knight c4. For all of a sudden. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so white is better, really better there. Mm. Maybe even much better, knight e5, knight c6 is coming. Mm -hmm. So c4 now doesn't look, seem to me that strange. Maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe the point is a black postponed c takes d4 maybe for too long. It was reasonable. I mean, postponing it for some moment, but maybe she, she made too many moves, I mean, uh, in, in, in the direction of, I mean, making pressure on C-file, so that D5 is sort of, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's M say... Maybe C takes D4 Let's figure out point, where, yeah. where, where it could be, uh, could have been possible, could be impossible. Castle, Rook, C8, D5, but it was played quite... And I, I would yeah. say after d5, I mean the most critical uh, yeah, why not reactions. Why g6? I mean, oh, g6 is a theory more or less. Yes, yeah, so, but it's uh, much uh, more logical than playing rook c8. Yes, but this is a theory. This is another story. I mean, g, g6 even without queen c7, mm -hmm. queen c7, g6 can mm -hmm. be played. Yeah, it's true. And this is another setup, another another strategy. Let's say. I think it was Mamedov Navarra game or after g6. Nepomni she played it with black once. After. Yeah, G6. I, I, I may, I may just, a lot of games. I may just there. recall the line of, instead of Queen C7. No, for example, G6 castle. You know, Bishop G7. Huge number of land. Rook E1. One castle of the last e, is E5. Is yeah, if, if 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 Black postpones for a long time, C takes D4. That's why C takes D4 should be played before. By, by the way, 
when King one knight is already on d2, there is no reason to postpone c takes d4 in my yes, opinion. Yes, yes, because knight cannot go to c3. But yeah, that. Well, it's still it's still a line. It's yeah, a but line. if 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 you take c takes d4 early, then e5 is not that good anymore. And then castle, yeah, the last game I saw was Nakamura Ferruzza probably. Okay. Anyway, that's a theory, a big a big theory. Mm -hmm. D5, but then this plan looks a uh, complete waste. G6, A4, especially in the matter of C4 move. And now it's even better for black to retreat the rook on, the, on A8, but yes, wasting is, two tempos is, is, is point, somewhat yeah. black couldn't really afford this kind of position. Mm -hmm. I still it should not be that bad for black. No, it should even, not be. Even if she closes the center with b4, I mean, no, okay, then white is... Uh, yeah, but it, it could be the reason. And this is somewhat... I don't really like with white preparing against the Benko. Because then the b3 is not... It's not that simple to play b3, for instance. If, you, if, if I wants to, she, she will play b3 at some point. But this position yeah, is playable. Yeah, rook b1, yeah, absolutely, probably. absolutely playable. Even if black, I mean, waste a lot some of tempers. E5, for e5, 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 right. E5. That's a long pawn chains and mm -hmm. hard, yeah, it's hard to relate. Anyway, c4 is played and uh, white is considered to be better. But, yeah, oh, but once again, the point being take, take on b5. Yeah, we shouldn't take on b5 probably at all. Play knight e5, but then knight takes and yeah, so that could be the reason. Not takes knight on f4, takes. maybe. F4, c4. So ah, uh, knight goes to d4. Okay, but if I still, play still, 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 it's not so clear. Hmm. So knight d3 is somewhat. I do not like. At least the bishop takes. But knight c4 was also possible. Knight c4, knight c1. Rook takes, C1. Ah, rook takes c1. So it's also possible and with no dots, white is, white is better there. Maybe the other rook, I don't know. Or the other rook. <laughs> yeah, to sum up, white is better. Right. No, but before, you're right. Before is, is, is very far from clear. Before, maybe, and yeah. The point is that white cannot prepare for e5. e5 will be played anyway, so uh, maybe d takes is to prepare it somehow with d takes e6. I mean, rook d1, but no, that looks mm -hmm. uh, looks strange. I agree. Yeah, b4 can be the right move here. Usually in Benko, black is trying to explode the, the queen side. Yeah. But uh, b4 is not that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, the reason is that we're taking the control of black squares and potentially in a lot of end games, this b4 pawn may decide the game with some kind of sacrifice on c4, on a4. So it's not a bad investment in upcoming end games. But then it's all about the center. So b4 could be the move. And strategically, it's not that. Mm -hmm. It's not a mistake. Kashinsky against Giri. We've got uh, Ragozing. Bishop g5 line, which seems to be the most popular recently. e3, bishop f5, bishop e2. The one of the most the most calm lines in this opening. Queen c3, rook c8. I think knight e4 is the main one there. Or g5, knight e4, is it? Mm, I cannot really remember. I think I, 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 saw this I was line. considered b takes c3 is the main line, but Instead queen c3 queen. is also possible. And I don't really remember. B, B takes C3, I would play it still C5, probably. Right, 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 right. C5. So it's still the theory. And the capture is possible on B7, but it, I it's, remember, it's very... I remember I remember some game of uh, Moisink against Krajcik. And and well, that's a kind of typical, that black can still play, let's say, G5, Bishop G3, or maybe Queen, Queen A5, 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 A5 first, or Queen A5 first, and even after castle, uh, the Queen is probably going to be trapped. Uh, the Queen is... Trapped. Mm -hmm. But maybe maybe not Queen B7 immediately, maybe castle but it, first. Or, or it's not trapped, I don't know. But that's still... Well, anyway, uh, it seems to be a little bit risky. Let's imagine if we just swap off the, que the Queens of the board, Black plays C4 and this C3 becomes a target. Yeah, exactly. So it's not... Uh, on the first side, when first I, th I saw this position, it seemed to me that White is just almost winning, but then 
uh, I've seen a lot of games uh, uh, have ended with a controversial result. Bishop c3, rook c, uh, queen c, rook c8, queen a3, a6. I'm not sure if there has been any necessity of. Uh, I would rather try to protect it somehow indirectly, maybe b6 or g5, knight e4. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't sure that a, a7 was hanging, but still. Rook c1, g5, bishop g3, knight e4. Finally, black uh, received the typical Ragozin stuff with h5, h4 ideas. Say if white simply castles, can black play h5? Or was it their intention? I would say yes, I don't know. Yeah, I would consider it seriously at least. Yeah, and if for. Knight takes. Yeah, if white. And g4. Please, h4, they. They need. They have to be ready to. To oh. break the pawn chain and uh, distract the pawn structure. I mean, destroy the pawn structure. Knight e5 or whatever. Yeah, well, at least it has to be considered quite deeply. It has to be investigated. So castle h5 is possible. Instead of h5, probably black has even more sorted lines. Rook e8 or queen goes somewhere. Also f6 is not that pointless. Taking the control of e5 square. So it's just a game, and uh, black shouldn't be much worse, maybe slightly, but uh, I, would, I would consider to play this position with both colors. In the get one against uh, Grigoryva, we've reached the position we've been analyzing. So castle, uh, pardon me, f takes, c takes, d5, castle, then c4 is yet to be played. And uh, we do prefer black there. Optically, at least. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what's going on there. And yeah, and Gusinok against Gusiva. <laughs> I figured out that now we, after the two games being finished, we don't have a lot of games to to look at. Have we missed any 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 of them? Not really. So C4 is played, and it's black to move. Getman, uh, sorry, uh, Gunina Galamova, let's see what, what's going on there. Uh huh. So, knight e5 was uh, bishop, knight g4, bishop f4 was played instead of h3, which seems to be more solid. Probably Valentina was afraid of this h3, knight f2 idea. Mm -hmm. That's quite reasonable. Knight e5, rook a c1, rook fd8, and e4 is played, forcing black to take on e4. And the question is if black is in time to equalize the position directly, otherwise they will... Uh, it will be long, long term be, suffering. Yeah, they will suffer with a c6 weakness. So probably knight d3 is, looks quite principal then, but rook c6 is hanging. Rook c6, I would consider queen d4 for some reason. Yeah, at least that we are intending to play knight takes f4 and black is not going to be much worse after this. If white allows, but then the rook c4 and still white is a pawn up, and uh, we then we retreat to g5, maybe just even much better. So e4 is a move. Uh, I'm not sure that black has to take on e4. Maybe there is some better move. There is some better move. Can we try some bishop g4? I'm not sure. Yeah, the point is that the white can take on e5 first and take on d5 and everything mm -hmm. is hanging. And after bishop c3 we can take on g4 and... Just pawn up. Yeah, yeah just two pawns up. I mean, two pawns up, yeah. So it's far from being clear, but I do believe white is, white is considerably better. Okay, pawn takes on e4. If knight takes, rook d4 is a move. Maybe I've blundered it. D4 
Do I? I think I do. Pawn takes c4. What's, what to do? <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's so funny to realize that you're mistaken with each single with each single word. I just said that white is considerably better, but then I'm failing to find the way how to. Re no, no, no. But at least bishop takes e5 is is not that bad, I think. No, no. Here, a uh, bishop here. takes e5, even, right? Even so, uh -huh. bishop, bishop takes, takes and knight takes e4. Knight takes e4, but uh, what is the difference? Rook no, c4. C c ah, c6 is not hanging. Sorry. Yeah, I thought we can play rook c4, but well, black is out of risk, and so I would maybe, maybe even play pick black there. Mm. Well. Double-edged. Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe uh, that can be worse there. And rook is rook, is, rook is three there doesn't work. Yeah? Rook e three. Um, what I mean? No. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, sorry. Bishop is three. Uh, instead, bishop takes e four. Knight e four immediately. Pardon me. Bishop. No. I I I I go in, I go now. Knight takes e4, uh -huh. rook d4. And yeah, bishop. but I saw black has m a much, much more captures. Bishop b6, rook e4 at least. Mm -hmm. Probably winning. Yeah, probably, yes. So it does work. So e4 and d takes e4, and I'm really puzzled. It seems to be that the e4 wasn't necessary. Well, bishop, bishop e3 can be played, right? After d takes e4. Bishop e3 first, yes, it's possible. Aha, uh -huh. now probably that was an idea, but a very different position. Mm. Yeah, it drastically changes the <laughs> my. I mean, my my whole concept. I saw they can take on e4, then we fail to find an equality, then bishop e3. It just proves that the idea of e4 breakthrough was quite quite good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if queen retreats, we just take on e4. Black has a long-term weakness on c6. Right. Bishop, should be, bishop g5 will be in there. It should, it should be unpleasant, at least for some period of time. But what to do, I think? Black is more or less obliged to take, no? Uh, yes. So e4. Otherwise, d5 you can... Is 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 oh bishop e six look doesn't look maybe knight doesn't look attractive knight d three e takes a five takes. knight c one rook c one yeah I can't find the way how mm. black proceeds just much better for white instead of knight d three what what can be played rook d eight all in all e four and what was wrong with bishop g four just simple e takes ah uh, bishop e five and e takes d five that's right mm -hmm. uh huh. Mm -hmm. That could have been a blunder. What about bishop d7? It looks a bit awkward, but who knows, maybe it works. Even e takes and knight yes, takes. Yes, e, e takes, knight takes, and yeah. uh, after bishop e4 there is a double attack. Mm -hmm. So bishop a8 is hanging, if a takes b6, let's see. Uh -huh. So a, e4 and Valentina is... Is pushing, but not on the not towards the king, but towards the the whole army. In the men's section, <laughs> rook rook eight. Uh, so b four is played first. Knight e two, rook eight. Knight g three, h six. Bishop d two, a five, a three. I do like black. Yeah, I still consider black is doing fine, fine there. Yeah. And I would really consider queen b8 instead of rook b8. After rook b8, I'm not uh, that sure that rook a7 and black can hold this c7 pawn. They mm -hmm. can play c6, of course. Yeah, but, but then bishop, bishop f4, and this is somewhat... At least I didn't want to afford. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what about b takes a3, and then rook takes a3, yeah, but maybe this is a way to proceed. And then a4, or? a4, yes. Then white will probably triple by c file, yeah. right? Uh-huh. b takes a3, rook a3, indeed. 
display it. Yeah, but uh, yeah. at, at, le at least it, le it spoils the, the pawn structure a bit. So I would still consider to keep the tension. Queen b8 to rook. Uh, the, uh, I was Queen I was trying to but say the pawn, but ah, so you take on yeah. c7. My idea was that for some reason bishop before, but mm -hmm. even but bishop, bishop before, before is even still good. Queen c7 is still good. Yeah, so I'm just going crazy. Rook a3. Black has to hold the a pawn. A4 is played. Yeah, rook c3 we consider. It is a move. Mm -hmm. And then if rook a7. Yeah, rook c1. Rook c1, probably. some awkward stuff. Queen. b8. b8 or a8. Maybe queen b8, right? Queen b8. Uh huh. Queen b8, rook c7, rook takes, queen takes, queen b2. Is it, mm -hmm. Isn't an idea. Mm -hmm. If e5. After oh. e5, you can also consider rook c8. Some calculations are needed here. Well, we just because we are blitzing out the moves with no reason, just to show that. No, some yeah, some, show some important some lines, but uh, some, 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 the, some nonsense. Yeah, to be this honest. analysis is not exhausting. Yeah. It doesn't pretend to be exhausting. It's, it's not even doesn't pretend to be an analyze. <laughs> A4, rook c3, tripling the on c5 looks quite tempting. Okay. Sorry, that was something. Mm -hmm. So still no h5. Bishop e3 was played instead of h5. I'm curious to see the timing of bishop e3. But, uh, well, maybe I do, I, I do not understand chess at all, but h5, it, it wasn't only, in my opinion, the European champion was also... Uh, agreeing with my point of view. But let's see what happened. So, Knight d4, queen d2, knight e2, queen e2, c6. Knight c3, f4, bishop d2, knight h6. f4. f3. This is an interesting point. What, what? Oh, it looks like a pawn sacrifice, but maybe... No, but it, it does not really... No, no, no. Oh. Ah, so pardon me. Yeah, you're right. So there are more captures on f4. And what was the point? If just take twice and what's on there? Maybe knight e5. Knight e5, bishop g4, uh, yeah. And if uh, black white takes, we can then even take with the pawn. With the pawn, I would take with the bishop probably. Yeah, so I mean, uh, ju just to show the, yeah, the compensation. The, yeah, that position just is. to illustrate the compensation. Mm -hmm. Of course, bishop takes e5 is the better option. Mm -hmm. So it was just uh, a good sacrifice. And after knight. E5, bishop g5 is the move. So queen b6 or queen a5. Anywhere, I would play queen b6, I think. Just keeping the, mm -hmm. the pressure on f2, rook and f2 is hanging. And bishop, this is bishop the g idea. g4 is a coming on as well, yeah? Yeah, so black has more so. than decent compensation. Yeah. f4 is played indeed. Bishop d2, knight h6 back. The fate of this knight of h6 is... Okay. I mean, it just goes back and forth, and uh, black is even <laughs> improving their position. So they've they've got rid of this d5 knight, and now they don't have any problems with the minor pieces. F3. Wow. So bishop g4 was the threat, is it? What was the re what, what was the reason to play f3? F takes g3, bishop g5, queen e. Isn't black simply better there? They, they're a pawn up. Rook f4 can be the move, a very typical idea in this kind of positions. Rook f4, the knight f6, like trapping the bishop, forcing them to take on the four, and then, <laughs> of course, this the big 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 pawn on g2 wouldn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, it seems to me that black is simply better. Something is going wrong here. Right? Okay, queen d2 is more or less principled. Mm -hmm. At least it seems to be. Uh, it seems to be principled. Knight f7, bishop e3, otherwise I'll take on g5 for sure. Or maybe you can invite me to take on uh, g5, play knight e2 first and then take with the pawn. No, no, bishop e3. Somehow. Bishop e3 is I, logical. I, I, I would consider the main option. And then, well, if I am given time to play knight e2, but then maybe. Knight I'm d8, I'd like. Knight e2, knight e6. Mm -hmm. Or h5 first just to prevent from h5. 
But uh, Gaganov is not, not intending to play h5, as we figure out, because he haven't played h5 even in the, the even in the mm -hmm. in, in in the best way. Yeah, but if you need to play h5, you could do it earlier. So yeah, so at this position, well, at least in my point of view, it's considered to be better for black. Mm -hmm. If knight g3, knight goes to f4, and white has some problems. Some b5 and some contemplating the queen side is also... Yeah, bishop, bishop g2. Bishop h6, probably. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it seems that Chigayev is doing quite well after the opening, thanks to the awkwardness of the last consequence of white's moves. And he just uh, hypothetically, if Chigayev wins with black, then he'll have the game for the title in the last round against Nipomishu with white. That would be it just... It depends on what happened today that, that in, would in be leader's just game. Uh, Let, let's see, by the way, Nipomishu is a pin car. Yeah, that was one of the most interesting. Rook d5, queen c4, rook d6, okay. Queen f7, h4. h4 is a bit mysterious for me. But maybe the point being that black is uh, stalemated on the queen side. Just wait. Knight, knight cannot retreat. I mean, knight cannot go to c6 while because of rook d7, probably. <laughs> and then after queen g8, we took the control of the g5 square. We can play queen h5. Yeah, so h4 is a very, very useful move. Yeah, and so also protecting some first rank mates. Probably the point is just to avoid, and in this line, after knight c6, rook d7, to avoid rook e8 move, mm -hmm. intermediate. So. Yeah, why, H4 why, why, is why, anyway why needed, yeah. Why, why so could it be that this position is mathematically lost for black? And what was our suggestion to play knight d7? At least we failed to find a way how to win f by force, for white, I mean. H4 is played and... Uh, so what is, I mean, yeah, it looks I like... I think a, a player like Peter Swidler will, would... Uh, Really consider just to resign in this position with Okay, well. let's let's consider a5. Like a5 with the dear rook a6. What yeah, that looks at least logical. The rook is six then, yeah. Rook ah, but then okay, still rook a6. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to create a threat. I'm trying to find how to create a threat. If I just play like an idiot, you play probably queen g7, or queen h, no, queen h7, rook f6, you probably, so what's, then, wrong, what's wrong with king h6, h6 of I don't king know. h7, sorry, basically, I don't know, maybe absolutely nothing, so I need to give another check, <laughs> I know, I have rook e6. And if you play rook a6, maybe I have a check first on e4. f5 is not that good because of rook h6. So you have to leave the 7th rank playing king h8, probably. Yeah, the idea was to take on a6 and play rook e7. Maybe still not winning, but it looks very, very dangerous. Nice if I screen f3, right? Let's see, 5, queen, e3, yeah. Double attack. Yeah, for all of a sudden you can still put... I know, I'll take on rook of, rook of 7, which is easier. Yeah, right. Otherwise, right, queen, right, h5 right, can right, be right. move. So, it means that... Uh, yeah, a5 is the probably the only considerable option for black, because if knight goes away from b8, leaving the protection on d7 square, then rook d7, and uh, white is invading... So a5 is uh, the only considerable. What about playing c4, rook a6, c5? C5, yes. I, uh, I was thinking about <laughs> it also. Just take on d6 yeah, and, that's quite and knight c6, right? Takes. Takes, yeah, knight, takes, knight c6. c6. So are you really in time? I D7. don't know. I don't know. But I'm not sure that I can create a, a threat even there. Maybe it's oh, been premature. Or maybe maybe King G seven. King G seven. Uh, yeah, so it's it's too artificial. A five, and we figure out that 
Hey, queen e4, and then rook e6. Yeah. So uh, the point of queen f4 first is that after king h7, we have a time to check and regroup and then take on play and play rook e7. Otherwise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with king on h8, we wouldn't have a check. So, but if, if it's not king h7, so maybe some other. King move? g7. King g7 or queen g7, right? Or If queen g7, I thought I, I can play rook e3. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wasn't 100% sure. Oh, okay, still rook e3, right? Rook e3. Rook e3 or even rook d3, which seems a bit awkward, but could be considered. Then knight c6 probably are still holding. Rook e3, rook a6. Ah, rook g3. Rook g3, rook d6, I wasn't that Rook sure. g6, rook takes g7. Ah, we've got queen g4 yeah, check but in the end. Maybe, maybe queen h7 was possible. After rook g3, queen h7. Mm -hmm. So, queen f4. Queen h7, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe rook, queen takes f6. Very unpleasant. <laughs> Nuance. <laughs> that's cute. That's that's brilliant. That's uh, absolutely brilliant. Very just fantastic line. No, but rook f rook f eight is not obliged. I mean, ah, otherwise it's just no. Uh, anyway, anything. Anyway, I mean, any, made, anyway, that's made. made. Yeah. Well, we just have to to illustrate to show. So if a five, I mean, what was the move? H four is still black th is thinking, and if a five queen f four is an option. And Nipomish can really bounce back and make a. But these lines are quite complicated, and uh, also maybe we did not see uh, everything we needed to to see to make a final conclusion. But it looks, yeah, it looks very, very promising. At the same time, okay, black is still piece up. So black has to prove. White has to prove. Sorry. Yeah. Bishop b3 is played. Mm -hmm. So what was our idea? Knight f7 has been considered. Yeah, knight f7, knight e8, so that was the. Then there. So, yeah, that was a bit. Uh huh. Yeah, but they somehow the whole set up with knight on c3, bishop on g2. Mm. Yeah, I looks a bit don't awkward. like that much white here. Neither me. Okay, Chigaya was doing quite well. In the fetish here against Dubov, we've got e takes, e takes, bishop of four, bishop of five. Such, such, such a strange position with this knight on h8, h6. Mm -hmm. Can there be any tactical blows? No, but uh, even after simple rook d2, and then optically white is... You mean knight d2? Knight d2, yeah. I mean, what well, seems to be. Maybe the point was to play knight e5, I don't know. Or d5. Mm hmm. Oh, then maybe bishop somewhere. Bishop b5, let's say. Okay, yeah, th then it's not clear. So black pieces are going out also. Yeah, but it's so awkward. Maybe d4 should be played instead, but still, yeah, still d5. Yeah, probably black is not doing that. Not, not that bad. bad, yeah. Maybe not that bad. And instead of taking f5, my proposal was to play b4, right? Mm -hmm. Take, take, knight e5, bishop b3, but then knight hf7, still a very complex game. Even through. What's going on in Karakin against Artemiev? Queen c1, 
a bit mysterious. Ah, no, he attacks the h6 pawn. King h7, but then white can a triple. But on the other hand, they protect the e1 rook additionally. Yeah, but what was the reason of queen c1? c1 yeah. What, I don't know, maybe is... he just thinks that this position is even better. If we just try to do the same, rook c7, rook a7, how we cannot mm -hmm. triple. No, but it seems to be... Ah! No, no, sorry. No, no. Uh, what is the reason to play queen c1? Maybe something has been wrong with rook c3 immediately. Mm hmm. I don't know actually what, but... So, no rook a7 seems very natural. Rook c1. No, queen b. Yeah, maybe this, pos this, this yeah, position yes, is not that yes, clear. Yes, maybe that's not that, that good for white, I agree. But uh, what, what is the reason to play queen c1 still? Ah, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe the reason is that, for example, I don't know what exactly, but if d, oh, e5, d takes maybe knight, e5, and f7 is hanging, maybe. Yeah, but I would play knight, e5. Yeah, 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 that, this, is, this is also. Okay, let's, let's continue this line. Knight, e4, but then bishop, f5. I can't see anything wrong for black. Mm -hmm. Okay, e5 is played anyway. Still queen, c6, maybe. Mm -hmm. It looks very complex. Yeah, maybe he decided just to leave the more pawns on the board and leave the center. Well, and also after 95, 94, I mean, maybe there is no capture on, a, on e5 for some reason, on g5 check somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that may be the Yeah, point. yeah, I mean, like the, uh, the inclusion of d takes e5, d takes e5 is clearly in favor of white. Mm -hmm. At least rook can go to d3, uh, black yeah. has spoiled the, some central squares. c5. Square. Yes, he five square also. So this inclusion is clearly pieces. in favor of mm -hmm. white. No, I agree. Black should maybe be careful at least. Abstain of taking on e5. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Queen h7, and for all of a sudden, queen h7 was played. And played quickly once again, mm -hmm. quite quickly. King, rook e7, could it all be the theory? h5. Ah, uh, so I've got the point. If king h5, then white is winning. Seven, white seven is just winning. Maybe mate is not. So rook, it's not a miracle yet. Yeah. yeah. Rook d3 is just, just winning. Yeah. yeah. So the pawn cannot be taken, otherwise white will just take on b7, right? And it's still not that easy to... So if king goes f5, but then rook d5 with still... Still some mating. Ah, that's, that's a clear mate, yeah. King. Ah, already mate, yeah? I think so. Yeah, ah. king f4, g3. Uh-huh, and king, king g2. King, king, rook, no, okay, king rook g3, king g2, mate. Or even this uh, not 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 immediately. Yeah. Okay, but there should be made somewhere. Yeah. And so King G five is the only move, right? King G five. It could easily have been blundered. Isipenko has twenty three minutes against one twenty three, so Isipenko is in a huge trouble. And, and that could be the game of the day. That could be the game of the day. Can you say mate already or, or not yet? So King G five seems to be the only move. Ah, but still, rook d5, f5. No, rook d5, f5. It's not that clear. Yeah, once again, sorry. King g5. Okay, let's find the mate. We play king rook g7. Mm -hmm. King f5. Uh huh. 
But the problem for black is that uh, even rook b7 should be considered yes, all yes, the time. Yes. But for example, now rook takes b7. Yeah, that's true. Rook takes b7, threatening rook b5. Once again, I'll, I'm still curious if there is any mate. King g5, maybe we can use our king somehow, I don't know. <laughs> I do like g3 somehow. Yeah, but then maybe knight c6 and knight, may, knight is coming. Huh? And knight is young. Oh, I like this idea, rook g7, rook b7. Rook g7, rook b5. Yeah, rook takes b7. So rook b5 is it's probably a threat. A threat. So king g5 has to be king, played. King g5 for a6. A6 is, I mean, very, very sad. But then we cannot hold the minor piece after King E5. Ah, King E5. That's, five, that's, that's five a problem. Is a problem yeah. H4. Yeah. Then, then maybe Rook B7 just here after Rook after King G5. Then have to go Rook B7 immediately. I'm still curious about G3. Yeah. But then G3 or F3, I'm still, I'm still in some doubts. Well, also, also, I'm sorry. Also, Rook D5, F5, Rook D6. Rook D6, yeah. But I don't know if it is winning. No, because H5 is now hanging, right? I yeah, mean, can we try Knight C6? Let's yeah, yeah, H5 is hanging. So no, no, this is this is not good. I think. Is it? Mm. I'm not sure. Rook g7, right? No, no, rook g7, rook g7 maybe. Rook g7, king h5. No, rook d3. Ah, rook d3, that's the reason. Okay, that's a clear reason. Uh -huh. Knight c6, yeah, instead of knight c6, so rook g7 is the threat. Oh, and, if, and if we retreat to f4, but then king can avoid... Uh, Aha, uh -huh. rook e6, rook, rook e8. e8. Still no mate. Still no mate, fantastic. King g5 fantastic. is played. Okay, Jan will show us his preparation now. This is the beginning of his preparation. Probably. <laughs> I'm curious to know if there is mate. Yeah, let's calculate. Let's force ourselves to think at least one time per day. It's not our duty. <laughs> it's not our work. It's place. Yeah, I would rather be happy to play than <laughs> to show up some some lines. Because there we have to show up the all lines, and during the game, the only one. Rook G, uh, King G5. Okay, once again, check. F5 is more or less forced. Can we try the same stuff? Not Rook G7, but Rook E6. And then after check, Rook will be hanging. I know, G6. but. Uh, what will be the black smooth? Knight c6. Okay, for example, knight c6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that clear. King yeah, g4. Yeah, is back. Taking off his jacket. And waiting for his instant reply. What about rook b7 first? If king goes f h5, and rook g7, then rook so g7. Rook g7. This is what I do like. Probably just winning. No, maybe a6 or this stuff should be played. Yeah, a6 then. or a5. No, a5. 
Are you allowing me rugby five check? Yeah, but this still is. A5. No, okay, A A A five. Let's try A five. Let's uh, let's try to find mate here. Not sure we'll have one. Yeah, it's it's not that obvious for sure. Ah, but the point being that knight A six it will be the one the only legal move, because if rook A six we have rook B eight, so it means C four knight A six. Once again, I'll just show it. If rook A six rook B eight. Mm -hmm. Well, white is... Mm, maybe it's a draw, but uh, black is risking a little. Uh, two, two pawns up. Okay, rook takes b7, yeah. Yeah, knight a6. We play c5, probably. Or also check, and then rook a5, and white has a lot of pawns. Knight c7 is the move. Well, it will be hard to win. And I hope uh, white can even be worse there, if they chain trade the pair of rooks. Okay, let's try to find out the way after. Yeah, A5. Uh -huh. Now, could the bringing the king to the action be a good idea? I, w I would consider rook B5, F5, rook B6, paralyzing everything. Oh, yeah, very good stuff. Uh, very good stuff. I like it a lot. Knight is still out of play. Yeah, you can try taking on h5. Yeah, probably, but it probably looks a little bit risky. And then some, some, something like g3. Okay, I take first. Ah, no, no, no. Take, take, and this is sh that should be a mate. Well, maybe g3 simply. G3, f4. F4 is the only move, right? But then, or it, somehow. It has to be mating somehow. Yeah, I just yeah. I also feel it. We play king g2. Pawn takes. Pawn takes, king takes. Mm -hmm. Trading to play f4. Knight d7 is the move. But if knight d7 is still... Ah, it won't be that easy. Rook takes f4 because... Not that clear. No, a5 has yeah, to but be uh, anyway, I, I like this. I like this move. Rook b5 and rook b6. I like it mm -hmm. anyway because the rook is still uh, the king. Oh, sorry, <laughs> the knight is still stuck on b8. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's a very rook a7 should it's be a very typical there, example of uh, developing the initiative. So sometimes you just uh, you just tra uh, transferring the the material in order to. Well, so white uh, decided to trade the queens, which looked a little bit out of the pattern, out of the the way of how to, how to play these uh, initiative positions. But then still, black is somehow stuck on the queen side, and knight cannot be developed at once. This is another way to... Uh, Changing the, the the current position, or improving the the initiative, developing the initiative. So rook takes b7, a5 is the the main option, and uh, Nipomichi is one hour uh, ahead of ahead, uh, ahead of ACPM on time. The other games, Fedor Sif against Dubov, we've got yeah, knight f3 is played instead of. D4, B4, knight f7 against bishop g5, winning the exchange. Yeah, and knight d8 is played by Maxim Chigayev, so Maxim is doing quite well and he has a good, good practical chances, even just of the opening. Yeah, in the women's section, still all the games are in progress. E4, bishop mm -hmm. e6. Bishop e6. The other option. Bishop takes, bishop takes, rook d1, rook c8. Yeah, black has to be aware of knight d5 threats, but now it doesn't work because of rook c1. But then what was the reason to take on e5? So maybe then... Could be just a miscalculation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, otherwise you would never take on e5. I would mm -hmm. consider even queen b5. Mm -hmm. Trying to transport for some kind of... Oh, but then the queen takes in knight d3. Oh, I've done it. This one is good for black. 
Yes, he takes and it's far from being clear. And maybe in white is not even better. But then there's been no necessity to take on d5. This d4 is still hanging, but... Okay, what, what did Valentina play? Knight e2. Nah, but then... Well, black is somewhat better, no? Oh, maybe not. Well, okay. If that rook she, takes c1. And d4, yeah. Yeah, probably you have to take with the knight and no, the knight but then and d3. Yeah, no, no. Uh -huh. Because if rook c1, d4, I think it's almost lost. That looks very, very devious, right? So maybe, maybe knight takes, yeah. But then it barely differs from the position in the analysis. So black is simply, okay, slightly but uh, considerably better. And I would consider putting the bishop on b6 or c5. Somehow I need this transposition. Mm -hmm. I need this transfer. But uh, then white is more or less solid. At least yeah, not with losing. on d3, yeah. But m maybe black should not take uh, c1. Yeah. What, what about Can pushing we play d4, d4 immediately and yeah. does it work? Or? I don't know. So rook takes. Or maybe bishop takes. Bishop takes. Knight c1 still. Still knight c1, right? But then bishop g4 comes. Mm -hmm. Rook takes c1 is played. And well, I'm not, I'm not that sure that rook c1 was needed. Yeah. But still now, after knight c1, maybe something like bishop g4 is prepared by Alisa. Is it possible? Well, the, Not knight the, the, queen, the queen, the queen on a4. Ah, mm -hmm. so d4. So I don't know, but knight comes to d3 and it won't be that easy for black to break no, through. No, not at all. Even I'm, I'm not even bishop. sure that black is much better yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, the rook c1 is someone I don't really like. Getman against Grigorio, we've more or less got the same position. Bishop f1, bishop b7, simply b6. Distracting the attention from the pawn on c4, but... Mm -hmm. That's clever. Still. Clever enough, but uh, still... If queen yeah. goes c somewhere, mm -hmm. c8, I don't know. Then b3. Or c6. Or c6. But c6 uh, may fail to knight e5. I wasn't that sure about it. But yeah, queen c5. Still, still take and knight takes e4. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, still complex. What? But why? Why should get rid of this nasty pawn somewhere, somehow? Yeah, and very quickly. But b three, b three. I don't know if it can be considered. I don't know. On ninety five, ninety two, and yeah, something very quickly. Yeah, yeah I would what? rather play bishop e three mm -hmm. than bishop. But then I, I'm afraid that ninety seven, ninety six. Ah, ninety three. Yeah, okay. Bishop e three. Bishop e three. Yeah, maybe Knight bishop e three. What about knight d2 also? Instead of? Yeah. But then our bishop looks so ugly. Right, but if you take on c4, then... Uh-huh. So I need something urgent. Hmm. Yeah, it looks attractive. So that's why queen c6 probably, right? Maybe queen c6, yeah. But, but then uh, I thought, uh, still, can I play bishop e3? Mm -hmm. You can take on e4, otherwise knight e5 is coming, or if knight d7. Uh, sorry, queen c6, the, I can take on c6, right? Probably. And I don't know. Knight takes probably. Maybe knight takes. Well, but then, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... One, two, three, four, five, six. No, white has seven pawns, sorry. White is pawn up. White is I just finally pawn up, yeah. figure out that white is pawn up. And b3 is... Uh, not is an, a potential idea. Potential idea. But still, maybe I rook is an idea. c8. Mm. Well, according to Master Mnatsikanyan's <laughs> op opinion, white is pawn up. Or well, maybe, maybe knight b... And before immediately, or maybe not. And then before bishop c5. Sorry, maybe. 
still <laughs> no, it's still still complicated night before will be my next yeah, bl 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 blitz style what, what, bluff what, what, yeah queen c6 is played i think queen c6 yeah. is played indeed well it's too hard for me to mm -hmm. to conclude to sum up everything so yeah Kashinsky against Gira, we've got knight d f6, knight e4, knight e4, queen b4. Black is still fine, but white is also fine. And there is no more h5. Everybody is fine. Everybody is fine. Pawn b7 is hanging, and it's not that convenient to protect it. Unless black just trade this beautiful knight on e4. Okay. Is it still ah H five is not possible? So anywhere. it's it maybe this knight f six wasn't that good for black. This is someone I don't really admire. And so I do prefer white right now. Mm-hmm. And Kashlinska, if, if she wins, she'll be plus two, right? Or plus, right. Or plus three. No, no, she's currently in plus one, I think. And uh huh. Yeah, correct. And in Kostinyuk against Gusev, we've got almost typical Benko position. <laughs> also, yeah. A takes eight is. As predicted. Yeah, C4. we we couldn't expect it coming out from real ops. Sorry, from uh, Mo uh, Moscow line. Mm -hmm. Bishop and A4. E6. E6. And this is the current position. Being ready that white will take on E6. So. Oh. So what was the reason behind? I mean, to play E6. Knight takes C4. Mm, queen C7. Yeah, queen goes C7 or C5, I don't know. Where? Quite interesting play by Marina Guseva. Um, but Alexandra doesn't take on e6, she takes immediately on c4. Mm -hmm. Why this pawn? Why this two pawn up? For the moment. Yeah, for the moment. But both of them could, gi still, still could, could, could be easy. Right, because queen c5 up. will be met by b3 and bishop a3. Yeah, so some maybe. extra tempo is not necessary. And now, no, okay, choice is b3. Or what else? Ah, well, you know, simple knight e3 is also not... Okay, but the position is not that clear. What about knight d6? Wow. What is the point? e5, I don't know. No, well, I take the e5. Yeah, doesn't look... It should be that good for white. Yeah, no, 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 no. No. Yeah, but in general... Okay, let's take on e6 first, f takes e6. At least we created some weaknesses, but some additional tactical motives for black pieces. Maybe c7 like. is played. Yeah. So uh, black has a decent maybe Maybe bishop b3, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you should take, take... And I take oh, first. Maybe take, if you take e6 first, yes. And then bishop b3, somewhat. Yeah, I, uh, should I include or I should take on e4 first? This is a good, this is question. A good question. I a5 probably was your idea. Mm, not sure. Not sure. I don't know what okay, was my... Five. Yeah. Five. Then Just maybe b6 inclusion would be useful. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know, but black has a bunch of moves. White has a bunch of moves, but... No, that's, it's, it's, it's black, absolutely, absolutely it's, unclear it's, position, It seems that black has a decent compensation. Right. At least, at least, at least good compensation. Maybe slightly worse, but... Uh, well, queen is 7 for no, example. Not much. Just a very, a very playable position. Mm -hmm. When we are failing to find the concrete way how to prove our... The, how to prove the advantage for each of the sides, it means that uh, the other side has a considerable compensation. Right. Maybe but not bishop b3, but I don't know what then. B3? No. Not B3. E4 is not, hanging maybe, with the maybe tempo. Not, maybe not taken on E6 then. Then just B3 mm. immediately, but still. I would rather include it. Mm -hmm. but may maybe B3. There? May <laughs> looks looks, looks like yeah. 
takes 95. I mean, like bishop b2 or bishop a3, probably. Bishop a3, wow. Very stylish. Maybe knight c5. Just ignoring. Mm, ignoring the rook. It's a very strange position. Knight c5. Yeah, but maybe, this play, but these bishops looks a bit, look a bit awkward to me. Right. But right. Uh, white is still pawn up, so maybe they're still better. Knight c5. Somehow. Yeah, it can be the move. Yeah, anyway, uh, just I'll check the last game. So a5 is finally played, and Jan takes his time. So we were thinking about rook b5, rook b5 f5, yeah, rook f5, b6, rook b6 is an yeah. option, but failed to find the fourth way to to prove mm -hmm. white's advantage. And still all the games, just, uh, inst all the games, so we consider Except just Vitikov, Matlakov, and Shovalov, Agreshkin are in progress. So w what do we consider here? Just king that, takes that, a, that was H5, a possible right? line. G three, F four. And if okay, any, I think white. If white wants the draw, they will make it. No, but white doesn't. Uh, uh, what about rook H G six here? Sorry, rook H G six. King F four. Okay, rook B E six. Ah, so that's the way. Yeah, that's just winning. Yeah, and if uh, if king g h five, then f four, right? If king h five, f four looks very annoying. F four was an idea to play rook g five. Yeah, so and then rook, rook h eight probably is um, the only defense. But then somehow ah, don't then, then the king then we in include the king. Yeah, king f two. Ah, king h two even better. Yeah, still looks quite shaky for black and probably. So once again, rook b5, maybe that's a decisive moment of the game. Well, f5, f5 needs to be played. Otherwise, if king g4, there Just is king rook g4 mate. f5 is the only move, so probably white just wins by force. Once again, f5, we play rook b6. No, black is not obliged to take an h5. Maybe just rook a7, something. Rook, rook a7. a7. But maybe still the same. Still the same. Takes it's the same idea. No, 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 not the same as it was. King h5, you don't have f4. I play check first. Yeah, check first. King g5. Ch then check yes. second. Well, after king f4, rook e6 the same wins, idea. right? So king h5 is the only option. f4, uh, maybe this is just the just, same. Just the same, exactly the same. Maybe yeah, that's fantastic. So that, that could be the game of the round. And Nipomishi, after losing yesterday, is a very painful game against Daniel Dubov. Bouncing back with just an, uh, a gorgeous, brilliant victory against uh, young Andrei Sipenko. So let's wait for the bunch of moves uh, while... Yeah, of course we will be back, certainly. We'll start with this game after the short break. So, well, I hope it will still be in progress and Sipenko trying to find the defense. We hope so. But anyway, we'll be what, back. What is the position on the board? So this is the current position. A5, it's wide to move. We're expecting rook b6 to come. Black is not forced to play. I know, so rook b5 first. So rook, rook b5, b5 forcing first, yes. f f5 and then rook b6. Maybe rook g8 is the right move here, right? Rook g8. Maybe this is the only move, actually. But then can you develop your pieces somehow? Not yet, but... Uh -huh, Aha, I've, I've got the point. I, I want to make a format idea being... Of course, but how? Of course, but how? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know really. Rook g8 is such a good move. And if rook takes, then knight d7. Knight d7, then king And if g3... Rook a7, I guess. Rook a7, then check. Mm. I cannot take, eh? King you should go cannot to take, yeah, no, yeah, no. because of the mate. Yeah, so king g4. King g4, king g2. Um, but I'm not but threatening we, anything. We, we don't have any I'm, threat, right? I'm not threatening. Rook e7 moment. can be the move. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe a decent line for black. Maybe a decent line. So once again, uh, g3. Rook a7. Maybe we should just take first. I don't know. Take first on h6, but then some knight d6 even. Knight d7. So, well, 
possibly it's a difference, but let's wait for players to show up on the board because rook b5 looks quite principled. So now, <laughs> once again, we're failing to find the way how white wins, but in terms of intuition, white has a very promising position, and the iron may have just uh, a cardinally different opinion. So it's time to have a short break, and we'll be back very, very soon. Stay tuned. Уже свыше 40 тысяч жизней унес коронавирус с тех пор, как все началось. COVID-19 уже в 80 российских... Медики предупреждают, в зоне риска заражения в основном находятся пожилые люди. Им рекомендовано не выходить из дома без острой необходимости. Мы стали выявлять невидимых людей. Это те, которые живут в своих квартирах, не выходят из дома вообще в силу своей немощности. Люди были напуганы, была паника и была растерянность. Мы предложили организовать колл-центр по приему обращений пожилых граждан. Разместила телефоны горячей линии, памятки, как вести себя, к кому обращаться. Мы доставляли продуктовые наборы, вещи первой необходимости, перчатки, маски. И у нас не только психологическая служба, у нас еще юридическая служба, социальная служба для тех людей, которые оказались в ужасающих условиях. Перед тем, как выехать, позвоните, пожалуйста, участнику. Бабушки все предупреждены, но они ждут вашего звонка. Куда можно поставить? Вам берегите здоровье. Мы не можем. Мы не заразные. Что-то надо будет? Ой, девчонки. Мурашки по телу. Вы эту камеру да. будете разговаривать со своим сыном. Сыном. Я чувствую, что я не совсем брошенный человек, что кому-то еще я не совсем безразлична, а это много значит. Они так о нас заботятся. Дай Бог здоровья. Всем дай Бог здоровья. Единственное, что бы я хотела сейчас, это просто вас обнять и расцеловать. Коалиция – это про то, как много могут сделать люди, когда просто объединяются. Я чувствую, что от каждого из нас многое зависит. Мы вместе – огромная сила. Солидарность – это норма. Солидарность – это норма. Солидарность – это норма. Солидарность – это норма.
Welcome back to our studio in uh, the Central Club, Central uh, Chess Club in Russia, in Moscow. And the uh, tenth round of the Russian Super Final is uh, in progress. They have Ten, only tenth, yeah. tenth round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have uh, only still we still still have to only two games finished so far, and uh, let's come directly to the leaders game. Jan Nepomnesi uh, plays Andrei Sipenka today, as you remember. So in uh, the position when Andre went A5, so we didn't guess um, uh, Jan's move. So we uh, support that we suggested Rook B5 to be played after F5, Rook B, B6. Mm -hmm. But then G3 was played instead. Yeah, but G3 was played instead. Uh, giving his opponent um, an opportunity to give back the piece. The uh, but probably the, the, the point being that black doesn't have a useful move because f5, if black plays f5, then g3 is more useful than rook b5 check. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about knight a6? And if knight mm -hmm. is 6 there might be some other point. Then rook b5, probably. With the same idea, yeah? Then, but knight is hanging on a6, so we're just mm -hmm. forcing black to play. Something, and then, for example, knight c5. Knight C5. And then the same... Ah, the same level. Knight just made. Is, yeah. Take... And, and King G4. King G4. And just King G2. Or, you know... Yeah, King G2, King G2. This one. Ah. Ah, yeah. If King no, G5 is no, 4 then after King F4, we do have... We, we, we don't have Rook E6, F4. Ah, Knight D3. No, but I think... I think King G2 was, was mating. Instead of... Yeah, yeah, in this position. And F4? Uh, F4 is, is possible, yeah. No, come on, we have to find the mate. Uh, <laughs> I'm 100% sure we should be there. Uh, maybe we should not hurry up with uh, rook h6 check. Yeah, maybe, maybe king g2 first. Maybe king g2 first. Or even... Yeah, l let's try king g2. King g2 should be just instead, instead of Rook h6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while king is. Yeah, that's. Uh, but right. not clear. Maybe rook h, rook h8 still. Rook h8 and. <laughs> well, I still do not believe it can be the save. Uh. Okay, once again, knight a6. At least it should be. Should be the most principal. Rook b5, f5. Rook BB6. Is Rook BB6 that needed? If we start with F4, King H5, then we play King G2, but it's, it could be too long. Not really. Yeah, once again, like uh, you cannot go Rook. I mean, you're almost stalemated. I have Knight C7, but then Rook BB6. But you know, you have <laughs> one more idea. <laughs> That's too many ideas. This is a problem. No, now my idea is to play king h3 and rook f5. This is I one see. of them. Uh -huh. Or g4, which is even more easier. For some reason, uh, Isibenko decided to play rook a6. Yeah. And maybe, maybe he was right. Because this rook endgame... I'll... It's probably drawish, probably. So crook a2, I guess, should be played now. King g2. It, it is already played, yeah? Yeah, that's the ah, smartest this is, decision. This is, uh -huh. And so what happens after rook takes a4? I'll play f4. Or you know what? No, no I play rook g8. Rook g8, if king takes, then there's going to be mate after f3, yes? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and if you do not take on h5, then I play rook g6. And rook g6, probably. This is a point, yeah? I'm still not sure that's a w that it's winning, but... Uh, no, that should good be draw. Chances. Should be draw, I think. Good chances. Good chances, yeah. 
Let's see, rook c4, rook h6. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Rook takes c3, let's say. Then and maybe maybe rook g6, maybe rook g6. Uh, rook g6 was ready to play g4. Um, Am I in time? Oh, by the way, uh, you could not. You could not. Or maybe you could play uh, g4 instead of taking on h6. First. All right. King over there. And f3. Oh, king, uh, yeah, f3, f3. Rook c6. Still. This is somewhat not clear. I would probably pick black. G5. <laughs> G5, wow. No, I cannot believe, but still, h take, h6. Um, h7 is a threat. So rook c8, rook takes f6. Okay, still decent winning chances, right? Rook a6 then. You know what? Mm. I, I have an idea. Rook takes c3. Rook f6. Ah, oh, you take on f6. Probably. Now, at the h7, you will have some tricks, right? No, but you're Check in, uh, but then how you will win this? I don't know, rook a6. No, but it's a draw. Because of many reasons, probably. Uh -huh. Maybe rook c4. Um. The another idea was it was it was quite yeah, beautiful. Okay, yeah, let's say if you just push the pawn to c three, h seven, I saw mm -hmm. they can give a check. So if you play king f one, I have rook h two, or I mean you're f more or less forced to play king f three. Right. Ah, I saw they can play rook c one. Yeah, the check now. Yeah, and uh, now rook f six, but maybe still not over. Uh, rook c one. No, it's it's winning. It might be winning. F five. Maybe maybe King G2 even. Right? Such a strange position. King G2. King G2. Uh, rook C8. Rook G6. Rook H8. No, but uh, this draw. is a draw. Yeah, some some messy p lines. Mm -hmm. Card to calculate. Properly. So, but what, what happened? What what happened? Uh, Andre didn't take. He played F5. He went F5. Said, yeah. Preventing all these dirty Tricks. intentions. So what 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 what's going on now? So if, um, for example, why take why play? For example, what, what's going on actually? If why just played rook g8? But then our king is pinned. King Doesn't H4. matter. C4. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe f four is it's a good move, yeah. A king h three, sorry. No, but then king, king h three. No, king that H3. was just a blunder. So both to do. Okay, if rook takes, then f three was or king h three, whatever. King h three first, f three, f four, king h three. Mm -hmm. Rook a three is the only move or not? No, no rook. Can take a pawn. No, no, rook can take a pawn simply. I have three rooks is three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no mate. No mate. The pawn can be taken. <laughs> yeah, pawn can be taken, and after f5. Yeah, so this is the position on the board. Maybe was white has another option. Are we in a hurry to play rook g8? Okay, c4 still. Maybe c4 immediately then. Rook takes a4, right? The only reasonable move. King h3. What is the idea after rook? Yeah, if no, just well, but you uh, can you can just no, okay, to the end game, but yeah, it's draw. Yeah, yeah, this is draw, but okay, still, still some play, but this is draw. Mm -hmm. uh, if I just play a waiting move, rook f7. 
to artificial. To artificial. What is the point of sir? Ah, so you're protecting the sir drunk, right? Okay. No, no, the, the pawn is not an. The pawn is not attacked, so king h3 still. Mm -hmm. But now maybe. No, f4, g4. f4, g5, just a meet. Yeah, and what to do? f4 is, now, is my next move then. I will get the same position with the c3 pawn. Okay, rook c4, yeah. Rook c4. Yeah, I cannot see anything. We need, anything we need some style like fantasy. Yeah. It doesn't really help. Once again, f4, king mm -hmm. h5. Maybe we just gained a, an important tempo. Why it isn't so important? Maybe just in time to push. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Don't it's still draw, but okay. This is not that easy draw, by the way. So, luck need to be needs to be careful. Maybe we can improve this line. Some rook f7 is something I do like, and uh, I think no. But rook c8 is played instead. Once again, rook f7, rook e4, just to check. It. Could it be a spoiled opportunity, a spoiled chance? No, no. The white should go for it, right? I mean, there is nothing better. Well, Jan played rook c8 instead, I don't know. Mm. Maybe there is means a reason behind rook a4, king h3. Yeah, looks a, li a bit tempting. Yeah, we need to improve the position of our king, but rook c8 is played instead. So we okay, failed. rook takes a4, is almost sure. And what, el what then? Maybe his idea is to play rook c5, just to keep both pawns on the board. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I, I can't see the point. Right, right. That should be his idea. We but play then rook a2 or rook a1, rook a2, say. King f3. King f3, King f3 threatening g4. Isn't it just winning? Maybe king f6 is still reasonable. King e3. a4, rook e4. Just pushing the pawn. F3. No, but now you're in. A, you could be potentially in danger. King, ah, king goes king to f4. f4. Yeah, you're f4. right. That was the right plan. And maybe Nipomishi is aiming for it. A very complex game. Sacrifice the piece, trade it to the queens, and then wo is seemingly winning an endgame, being a piece down, but of course having a, a very strong compensation. Okay, let's see. The other's game. <coughs> Pardon me, white is piece up there, right? If I'm not mistaken, in what's going on there? But bishop f5, knight f3, knight f7, knight bishop g3, knight f5, bishop b5, bishop e7, d4. Knight f3, queen f3, bishop d7, queen e2, queen g6, inviting. No, inviting, but maybe. <coughs> Maybe no better opportunity. No, but queen g5 was possible. Yeah, queen g5 was possible, but somehow Duo decided that after bishop c6, um, bishop c queen e7, well, black is doing fine. And I can get the reason. And may, uh, okay, rook e8. Yeah, just rook e8, rook e8, rook e2. Rook e8, okay. Um, queen f7, is, is it a move? Ah, queen f7. Um, still rook e2, right? Still rook e2, and uh, rook is overloaded. Rook f2 is not a move. Okay, queen e7. Some uh, total ask radius. Rook e8 once again. Yeah, just a, a, a fabulous decision. No, but the point is just maybe... I mean, queen h4, queen h3, simply, maybe. But then black invades to the second. Ah, no, okay, bishop b7 is possible there, sorry. Anyway, bishop b7 is possible, so. Bishop black where? can. Bishop d7, I mean, ah. rookie, rookie 2, mm -hmm. in case of queen h3, at least bishop d7 is possible, repeating moves. That's also true. Yeah, just once again, to enjoy the moment, queen e2, queen g6, bishop takes e6, is played. I, well, I don't know the timing, but maybe there has been anything else. 
Why not knight d2 instead? Can't get the whole point. Maybe black is even better there. h5, h4. At least white should have started with knight d2 and then probably aiming to take on c6. But um, there, it seems to me... No, but maybe, maybe, maybe Vladimir is just satisfied with the draw. Maybe, maybe this is... This yeah, is but how, 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 how we can make seven, a draw? Queen f7. Rookie 2? Ah, Queen f2, Queen... Uh, rookie 1, sorry. This is not draw. Yes, it's not draw at all. Hmm. Ah, but what about d5? Maybe sorry. Queen f5. So, sorry, what about d5? Maybe queen f5 first and then d5. Queen Obviously. check, check. No, no, the queen should not take queen f5. No, but then king f1. King f1, still rook b2. Still rook b2, yes, right, but... Some very decent compensation. I think so, yeah? I think but so. I, th I think white, white will not be worse here, okay. Yeah, they okay. will not be worse, yeah, but... Yeah, knight a3. But then, like, she's still your knight is trapped. By the way, queen f7, rook e2 is played. And, and maybe d5. d5 first. This is your idea. Maybe d5 immediately. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. and then... And then after queen takes no, f7... No, no, queen, queen f5 check is played. Queen f5 check is played. Why not d5? Oh... Why not d5? Maybe something like... No, I don't know. I think you also thought about rook g2. No, <laughs> queen c2 mostly, but... Yeah, queen c2, but there is no mating thread, that's the point. No. So queen a5 first. Well, but then... It's all about compensation there, but white is, is better. I mean, why just piece up? I think I'm trying to find the way, at least how to take another pawn. How to how to how to take a couple of pawns? Okay. Anyway, Queen Daniel goes for it, so he just takes. Okay, so d5 looks. No, but there was reasonable a reason. The there was a reason to to avoid it. Which one? For sure. I I, I don't know, but mm, no, but Queen uh, five is played quite instantly. Almost instantly. Yeah, I'm failing to calculate really. Yeah, I thought maybe simple take, take bishop d5, but even rook g7. I know, so rook g7 is dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. No, rook f2, rook f2. Rook f2, check. Rook f1. I don't know who is bishop, bishop f2. At least bishop f2, maybe... Maybe this position is quite good for black. But uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what, why Vladimir decided to opt for this line. I would also consider h5 move, or oh, then d5. But d5 is a threat. Mm -hmm. So we need to take probably king f1, rook takes b2. And even, even rook f2 immediately. Oh, I mean... And it looks just, just bad. I mean, no? Well, still some compensation, but this is somewhat I do not... Like more for black. No, of, co of course there is uh, some <coughs> compensation. Yeah, but it's, uh, Maybe it's far it, from being lost. But playing queen f5 instead of d5 is even better. Mm -hmm. Difficult cal to calculate all of the possibilities. Rook takes f5. So black is somewhat forced to take on g2. Otherwise, d5 is coming. Yeah. So maybe it was not, uh, let's say, necessary uh, provocation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, rook f2 and yeah, white is just playing for win. 
can black try to play on the domination? Not taking b2, but mm -hmm. d5 is coming. Bishop yeah, e4 or what? Oh, no, rook takes b b2 is on the board already. And I suppose that white will go just rook f2. Rook of two is reasonable. Then knight will go to d2 then. Maybe bishop b5, rook takes f2, and rook e8. Uh, king takes, yes, but then rook f8 and rook f1. Yes, I have Somewhat one, unpleasant, yeah. so rook e8 then. Rook e8 here. This is the way to proceed rook e2 and now maybe a4 first or yeah or else we can include a4 well that's the way how white should proceed for sure rook f2 is on the board so you were absolutely right but then e could it be that this uh, p sacrifice was a mistake or it was just needed. No, I mean it's just just a blunder, I think. Uh, somehow. Queen three, bishop g seven, queen e two. But then how to protect the bishop? Let's say if queen g five. <coughs> I think just Daniel's creativity played against him in this particular moment. The queen g five was more than possible, eh? or maybe we don't see something important here. Maybe even not being forced. Okay, bishop f4, let's imagine. Then queen still can retreat on f6. But then why do you no, develop their pieces? I mean, probably... No, but then, yeah, g6, queen g6 then, maybe. Uh-huh. Maybe bishop d3, something, yeah, maybe some tricks. Oh, bishop g4, uh, queen g4 is always possible, sorry. Queen g4 can be played. Yeah, so... We, um, it seems to be that he didn't like the position at all. Yeah, but still, I mean... He didn't want to just... I'm not sure he likes it more now. Retreat ret 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 from the threats and... That's very dramatic, dramatic situation for Daniel. Yeah, he opted for the most more active, but probably mathematically much worse continuation and it can really pay off for feather save there. Rook f2, white is a piece up, and uh, Dubov is also low in time. Okay, let's see what what the others' position are. Well, so Fedosev may enter the championship race after winning Dubov today. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it fully be, de uh, de um, depends on Nepomish against Yesipenko. And this is the current position, and king h5 was ah, the last king move. King h5 is played, otherwise. So rook f5 will be taken, and, well, it probably will be like 2 1 1, as it seems to me. But a black could be not in time to, to protect from anything. A4 should be, well, black should be pushing quickly. I think I'm not even in a hurry to push my sip on just play no, King no, 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 King F4 is smart. But still, Rook C2, Rook C6, I think. Yeah, check. Yeah, King G7, King G7. and um, I could be not in time because yeah, of the third it, it, ring. This is yeah, but... Just because of the third ring. Um, King F5, King F5 A3, A3, and White is not in time. White yeah. is not in time. Okay, let's check it. Rook or, c7. Or maybe they are king c7, rook c7, king g8, rook No, no, king, 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 king f8, probably. Ah, king king f8. f8, I would say. Is it that clear? No, no, it is not. But a, a2 is coming, and it's, so it's, it's, it's not. Okay, first, easy to, first, easy to first we threatening the mate. Ah, Jan did not take. 
and didn't take f5. First we threatened. And maybe maybe he is right. He started with king f4, so he's gaining now a couple of tempers, right? So this is the current position compared to our analysis. Yeah, even even. Ah, but then it's really <laughs> eerily, eerily, really bad for black. Uh, black, well, very dangerous, let's say. So rook c2 should. No, it's played. not dangerous. It just lost. Just lost. Yeah, because like uh, if we just swap off the pawns of the board, it uh, it would be holdable. It will be it would be half tough but holdable still. But with the pawns, the pair of pawns included on the board, black has much more troubles. So if black would rather take this a pawn of the board, make rook a5 check, but then this h6 pawn will fall very quickly. So it means that king takes f5 and... Is, is, it, is it absolutely winning? So, okay, rook c2, just check. Well, it's not absolutely winning as we figure out yesterday after Grigoriev against Shualov, but it's winning. Or maybe f4? Yeah, the 4 a4, g4 we first play. So we just... So a3 and keep our now ball. check and... Now check. King f8, king f6, king e8. Yeah, just f5, I think. Should be uh, good enough. Or maybe king g uh, Everything. The, uh, in this position, literally should, should everything. Should be winning, yeah. a2, rook a7. Maybe check first. Rook e7 check. But then king f8. Ah, you yeah. mean like... Just... This is my idea. Push the king out. Uh, yeah, that's quite smart. King, no, king, king d8, I think. King should d8, be you think? Mm. Yeah, otherwise it's just... Desperate. Okay, even so. Yeah, I just lost. We're threatening king g6, f6. You can try rook no, g2. No, 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 no. The c3 pawn should be taken, but then this is lost, yeah. Seems to be lost, at least. Yeah, then we play king of seven simply. Mm -hmm. And push the pawn. So it's absolutely lost, and after rook f2, what's gonna be played? What's wrong with f4? I don't know. h5? Not really. I think f4 is winning. Now check first, but then f4 will be played. Or check first. Check first is played. King g8. King g8. <coughs> Still f4. Yeah, well, but the position is just lost. Mm -hmm. Just a brilliant te technique by Jan, and g3 move was quite strong. Mm -hmm. And now when we are analyzing without any engines, we can clearly point out, the, point out the critical moments of the game. Because when you just briefly look for the game using your computer, sometimes you just fall to find the, the critical moment of the game. Right. And one more game is over in women's section. Natalia uh -huh. Pagonina drew against Leila Garfulna. It's white pieces. Yeah, Garifuna was absolutely fine. And she still secures plus three score with mm. seven draws and three victories. Yeah, zero That's losses, amazing. which is in incredible for For the, such a young player. Yeah, for the newcomer, actually. This is her first super final. Was ever. it. Was, was it. A, um, was this position risky for Black? Mm, it does seem risky. Could we play Rook, Rook G8, G8, but then Rook check, check first? Check yes, then. that's the point. Otherwise, it would be too, mm -hmm. too beautiful. But. Black is somehow stalemated. Maybe rook c8 is a little bit premature. Or maybe Natalia just failed to, to find the, the improvement. Wh what about h4? V a very sudden and mm -hmm. unexpected move. If queen b2, then bishop e6 but may be considered. b5 is not a move? What? b5. b5. b5, my idea after b5 was that I thought we can play h5. Or maybe check. But then you have a check. Check and take. Yeah, check. 
were there. Mm -hmm. King h2 and b takes c4. No, or maybe, queen maybe, takes. maybe queen takes, but queen f7 still. Yeah, queen, queen f7. Yeah, queen f7 is winning. Um, yeah, I thought you yeah, could simply take with the pawn. That's mm, been the point. Or, or, or no, no, then, then take first with the queen. Take first with the queen. Just immediately. Mm -hmm. And then I have a perpetual, I guess. Yeah, so that's almost the same. Mm -hmm. King h2, queen f4. So somehow black is that holding. Should not be escape. Queen c2, but still I do believe white had something more. Oh, sorry, more. but we are completely, I mean, <laughs> we are probably too, too tired because in the previous variation, when I give check first, mm -hmm. queen c4 is just winning because after queen f7, I have queen h4, queen takes d8. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah queen c4 once again. Oh, the it's tense round for the commentators as well, so they're getting tired. Also. Queen c2, well, the rook c8 was played, but somewhat I do believe. Can we play too artificial? Queen f7, queen takes c4. No, no, why, 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 why? Ah, yeah. yeah. We play rook g8. But then, but then you have the perpetual. Then you have the same perpetual. So we, was it that unclear? Hmm. And if we start with king h2 first? Yeah, that was my question, but I guess queen c1 still, or maybe maybe, maybe b5 once again? Maybe b5. But then after b5, probably rook g8 works out. Oh. Ah, this is tricky. You can play queen b2, but probably I implement my ancient idea. Queen f7, f7 queen 8 Queen f7, queen 8 but no, it's, it could be too long. It should be too long. I can, I can play bishop takes e6, but no, it's bishop, nothing. Bishop, yeah, takes. bishop b7, right? Maybe played uh, here. Wow, cool. But okay. bishop takes e6. Mm -hmm. But black should be out of danger. No, at least. But bishop uh, f5 is hanging. Bishop f5 is a threat, yeah. Mm, who knows? Maybe it's still. No, but I do not have anything more than perpetual, it seems to me. Or not. Maybe I'm just deeply mistaken. Mm. No, okay, maybe maybe Queen C1 was yeah, more my precise. Head, my my, maybe, my head is blasting. My maybe maybe is Queen C1 was. Maybe, okay. Rook c8 was played instead. White has an extra piece, but this is just a direct draw. This is just a direct draw. Okay. Getman Grigorieva. So this is the current position. Black is doing fine, but do they have anything more? Is she going more than fine, eh? Yeah. I don't know why I evaluated in this way, but optically it seems to me that black shouldn't be in risk, at risk. Rook c5, knight c5, bishop d4, knight b3. Some crazy tactics. R R bishop f2 instead of rook f2 for some reason. Yeah, but still, okay, what, what, what's wrong with the d2 in the... Uh -huh. d2 will be met by bishop... Uh -huh. uh -huh. d2, bishop c4. Bishop c4, right? Mm -hmm. So bishop takes b6 is played instead. And after bishop d3, it's mm, going to be slightly, draw? Or? Slightly, slightly pushing, I think. Who? But not, Wh not white? really. White? No, not white. Black, I mean. But black has more weaknesses, I think. Bishop c4 will be played. No, it's, well, with this kind of king, with the first rank, black should be out of risk for sure. Well, no. maybe it's just a dead draw. No, but... Yeah, maybe it's white, just a white. draw. My taser, maybe. And oh, okay, pawn is hanging. What? Okay, knight c5, yeah, can be played, of course. Yeah, knight c5 at least. Well, probably it's just a dead draw, and there is no necessity to analyze it. It looks like a draw, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find a tactical, another tactical solution, but failing to do. Yeah, my idea was to invade on uh, the second rank somehow. Knight d4, bishop a6, at least I do have rook a8 and rook a3. And with this knight on d8, I shouldn't be... 
Oh, that's true. But uh, I'm not sure if I do have anything else more precise. So it should be more or less... Maybe, maybe bishop c4 after rook a8, bishop c4 and knight d8 can be played. Yeah, that's another way to equalize. No, but still, you can just take. If I take, then check, bishop c7. White king is ugly. So this is not the way to play for, for advantage. Yeah. So it's, it should be a draw. This game should end up in a draw. And Gunina against Galamova. Gunina is absolutely lost. Being an exchange down. So what was in the game? Rook c1, knight c1, rook c8. Was a good move. Knight d3. Yeah, so the, the best way is not to put the pawn on d4. And pawn on g5 mm -hmm. restricts the bishops. The bishop and allows the black dark squared bishop the additional squares. b4, rook, bishop g4, rook d2, bishop c3. Ah, so that was the way. But why rook c3 hasn't been played? What was the reason? Bishop a4, rook c8. Optically, it seems to be that this line gives white more practical chances. Or not really? Maybe not really. Rook c5. Mm. Even bishop b5. No, but bishop b5, I'm not that sure. Even d4. Even d4. a3. So you still can push somehow. Well, it's risky, obviously. No, okay. I mean, white is just... A little bit, yeah. Worse. worse. Then, yeah. But this is the current position on the game. So bishop d1 was played instead. Uh, bishop, bishop d5, sorry, was played instead. Take, take. But this is just technically lost. Yeah, because of many reasons, probably. And just exchange just down. Just trading, trading the queens. Exchange down and... And pushing the king towards well, the queen side. Not the best tournament in Valentina's career, definitely. What? Yes, yeah, so today the game of... Today is the day of... <laughs> of peculiarities. So, what's, what's going on? Well, I see it looks a little looks bit, bit passive. passive yeah, but D5. Yeah. Black pawns are only king side. Mm -hmm. Well, except D5, which is central. Knight c5, e5, knight h5. Yeah, looks promising for black because of this weak e5 pawn. But for instance, at the moment, white is two pawns up. Rook c5, f4, rook c1. Of strong. Seemingly strong. But I don't know, how, I'm still failing to evaluate it. Optically, it should be not bad for white, but knight on g5 is hanging. So queen g4. For h5, right? This h5, yeah, h5. And still? Queen h4. Knight ah. e2 is hanging. Mm -hmm. And knight e2 is hanging, right. The another option after rook knight f4. I thought we can take on f4, but then bishop on hang is hanging and the knight is hanging. And it's not that clear how to protect both pieces. Yeah, nice. Well, generally nice plays by yeah. ni ni nice play actu by, actu by actu Marina. Actually, mm. Black is exchanging the pawns down, but uh, the position is very unclear. Very unclear, yeah. And I would rather pick Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to protect the knight somehow. Yeah, Queen D2 and Queen E3 is not a decision. Probably Queen G4 still has to be played, but then H4 is played, I think, but the, what, what is the... What is the point of... Yeah, what to do after h5? Just giving up the exchange? Could it be? Yeah, but... How exactly? Queen h4 probably is the only move. Well, not queen d1, not, not queen d1 will be played. Queen h4... No, but then I cannot see the point after knight e2. Yeah, check, just take on c1, and white has to take on c1. And then a lot of moves, bishop h6, for example. Bishop h6, probably winning. Yeah, rook c1 is uh, just a, is a massive tactical blow. 
very typical. Mm -hmm. Getting rid out of this. Maybe why it should not have. Uh, Maybe F4 was, F4 a, was a mistake. mistake. Yeah. So do you feel how our evaluation starting to decrease in favor of black? So firstly, I said, wow, then I said it's unclear, then we th think it's just absolutely winning for black. Yeah, maybe just winning. Yeah. What, what to do <laughs> after H5? I, it's I like our, our, point, our, our brain is our... Yeah, but are, maybe why we didn't are have a choice deep, yeah, after... Are, after, are after. Reaching, reaching the the needed depth. Rook C5, but instead of F4. Yeah, do, black is still threatening rook takes C1, for instance. We can try to protect the knight playing H4 or... Say H4. Well, maybe bishop e3, but then d4, yes? Somewhat yeah, considerable. Yeah, yeah. Bishop e3, d4, I like so much. Queen f3 is played. Can't get the point. Queen take g5. Or can we include something? But not needed, maybe. Maybe just d4, knight e4, no, it's still unclear. Queen g5. Yeah, it should be absolutely winning. Yeah. The pawn is falling on e5. Maybe again some tactical reasons. Oh, maybe some some tricks like rook c7, maybe. But then bishop e5 is possible. If mm -hmm. rook takes b7 and knight h3. Mm, right. Queen takes and bishop d4 right. and the first string. Nice, nice, nice tactics. Yeah, so that, that that that's this game is about of estimating the level of risk. So on the first side it seemed to be quite solid for white, having two extra pawns. Well, obviously black has some, had some compensation, but it seemed to us that it's not enough to equalize. But then rook c5, rook c1 was was missed by white clearly. Queen f3 and well, king h1 is played instead. Queen g5, maybe this is the best practical chance. The stick looks very bad, but... Yeah, absolutely. But what to do? What to do with black, right? No, I mean with white. Any, mm -hmm. Anyway, I mean, there is no another solution, probably. Mm -hmm. Just king h1, maybe the best. I just taking on e5 there. And g4, g3, yeah. Ah, I'm just, I just blundered it. Well, still, I mean, with such a diagonal, I mean, you're never <laughs> sure, but... If, if, even blundering g3 yeah, because does, doesn't if, mean if, that... If I'm not sure I have threat, because now taking an f4... Yeah, rook takes d4, rook, some ideas. Rook a, a5, a4 would be, would, be, would be hanging anyway. Mm -hmm. No, we're very, very interesting play in general by Marina, and... King h1. Very aggressive, sacrificing two pawns and... What else can we try? Queen, Queen e5 is the most solid, probably. Mm, but then maybe b6, and still some play. But yeah, generally does not seem good for white. I'll take all of the pawns. Yeah, probably rook c7, but some. Obviously, there might be some tactics. Mm -hmm. ah, at least I can take on b6. Right. Yeah, so this is just winning for black. Yeah, that would be a bit surprising. But the, the whole women's section is all about surprises. Yeah, but here it's just about, uh, I mean, in, uh, but hey, nothing, no, it, it's not about blunders, it's generally about concepts, so, mm -hmm. well. But I like the way Alexandra started her game. So C4 was quite good, but then it feels that Somewhere in the middle game, she misplayed some. So d takes c6 still has to be investigated, and knight cd2. This is something I didn't really enjoy, mm -hmm. because optically. But still, maybe after d5, maybe is, is, uh, there is this is nothing wrong. Maybe because in this position somehow. And e5. Well, e5 is too responsible in this position for sure. Well, e5. Yeah, was this too position is very complicated. Maybe it's just fine for white, but white. Uh, needs to take uh, important decisions here. Maybe b4, for example. I, d I, I don't know. Some. 
Yeah, but Black has a, a huge initiative there after. I mean, uh, E5 just uh, spoils everything. Well, maybe not yet. What 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 what's going on there? But e maybe, now maybe, E5 yeah, is but, hanging. Yeah, but uh, I don't know basically what was wrong with B4 still. B4 is is possible, but Knight B3 even maybe not that bad. I don't know, but uh, many options. But, but now yeah, it, but now it's starting to look starting yeah, to look yeah, risky. It looks and Knight D F3 is not possible anymore, right? Because C1 is hanging, and this is a point probably. Maybe maybe this is yeah. Ah, uh, still, and Knight X is six. I mean, knight xc6, maybe still playable, I don't know, but should be. Okay, knight d3. Knight d3 looks very solid because we need uh, knight on this part of the board, but uh, maybe h6. h6, b4. Yeah, something like this, but knight takes... Na and then I would take a4. Yeah, knight is 6 knight c3. Yeah. And yeah, now it feels like black is better. At least I, in general I like this whole setup. Mm -hmm. And d4 can mm -hmm. be the idea. So af after the opening, in terms of the, the opening that's been played, this is just a dreaming position for black. Oh, it should be analyzed carefully. I mean, yeah. this is uh, absolutely. And this is the game between Kashlenska and Gira. And as I thought, in after the opening, after queen b4, white has an advantage, and it's almost being proved. Well, it's obviously been proved, but how much it was? Bishop d6, rook e8, bishop takes a6, rook takes c1, for some reason not rook c2, which was a little bit unclear for me. Maybe rook c2 shouldn't like king g3. That could be the reason. And what do we have now? What's but the current then, position? But, but then rook e1, rook e1, rook c6, check, and even king h7. Bishop e5. f6. Check. King goes somewhere. And bishop b7. Uh huh. So that could have been the reason. But still, rook c2, king g3, this is somewhat I do like for black more than uh, rook e1 first. Or basically, it's just a transposition to the position, uh, to the to the, what 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 was in the game. Just the same. Funny enough. Right. Ah, so and then it was a check. King g3. F2. Ah, so it was black to move. Pardon me. So it it just it could really have been a blunder. And uh, now. This is a position, right? This is a position. Wow. Match, well, black should decide. Ah, but no. Yeah, black should decide, should choose between rook b1, b2, and knight xd4. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And also... No, it takes d4. Is, uh, we're not in time a little. No, but who knows? No, but then... Can we try e takes d4? Bishop b3, d3. Let's say white takes, pawn takes rook c7. Ah, but you can also yeah. play rook e1. Yeah, but king, for is, instance. King, is, king is in time. I had an idea to play bishop d3. Then you play rook c3, which is an only move. And, and then, yeah. And then you play d4. And I move the rook. And then you move the rook where? And c7. Uh-huh. And king f2. Ah. That was the point. Mm -hmm. Nice. And probably that's winning. Probably, mm -hmm. probably. Uh, it's too complicated. But what? What? So okay. First the other option is rook b2, which is more natural. Then rook b7 has and to be calculated. Maybe knight c5 here also. Wow. Knight c5, but uh, well, isn't it? Too no, no, it's absolutely unclear. Well, white is out of risk. No, sorry. I, I think this. No, probably black should should go for it. Should should take on d4. No, the no, knight takes. Knight takes. Uh, knight, so, takes. So, knight takes. So bishop takes. Bishop takes. Bishop takes, not knight. Mm -mm. Why? What? What is uh, the reason? I, I, I want to put my bishop on b3. 
I thought the fourth line is to take with the knight rook e5 d4. Ah, d4, like this. I mean, uh, to push the pawn as soon as possible, because after rook d5, at least knight e3 is considerable. Mm, okay, yeah. But then d3 this is, also. This is an option as well, yeah. It is a, but it, now it's a little bit hard for black to push. So, what's going on in But I, I, I would predict Alexei a draw. Alexei Gaganov game? I would predict a draw. What ah, Gaganov, what? What's going on? Was it just a blunder? So that was the position. Ah, okay, but down, then it's not that clear. But what was going on? Knight f4, bishop f4, and e takes f4. Well, but still, even there. Mm -hmm. But maybe maybe black need to, to stop d4 here somehow by playing c5, but then... Pardon me, knight f4, bishop takes f4, why not rook f4? Well, I understand black white can play h5. Bishop h3, I think, maybe was, was the idea. Bishop h3. First and then... But or then or if, knight, knight e2, if, if you trade too may, many may, pieces, it won't be that easy. Knight e2, maybe first. Knight e2 could be the reason. That's more logical. Yeah. But was it? Could we just miss misevaluate it somehow? Queen e1, rook knight e6, queen g3, knight f4. Maybe knight f4 is also premature. Maybe b5. Maybe yeah, once again, a6, b5. Bishop takes, e takes, queen f2, h5. Mm -hmm. D4, right or what? Mm -hmm. D4, bishop e6. And bishop f1, right? Uh huh. a6. Maybe black should hurry up with their counterplay somehow. Mm -hmm. a6, rook g1, but then maybe, still. Maybe, maybe Maxim has somehow uh, underestimated this uh, bishop, bishop's transfer yeah, to d3. Yeah, but what about b5 still? Mm hmm. I cannot believe that can be better for white. I just cannot believe. But okay, bishop f7, a little bit passive. Bishop d3, b5, e5. And now black is not in time, as it seems to be. d5, c takes, knight d5, e4, bishop e4. So bishop g6 is a threat. And then rook takes g6. b takes c4, bishop g6. Could we start with rook c8 or d it's just pointless? Probably yes. Bishop g6, rook b8, bishop e4. Well, and now black, black's position looks lost. Rook g7, king g7, queen g1. For some reason, instead of queen d4. Maybe even stronger. I don't know why, actually. Mm -hmm. So what, what what's going on? If king h8, queen d4 is an easy win. As, as, as that's that's obvious. Yeah, but king rook goes to g1. Yeah, but then yeah. I mean if king h6, queen then g5, rook h5. Queen g5, ah, queen g5, g5, queen g5 mate, mate. Yeah. right? It just it's just a mate, no? King yeah, it seems so. And if king, yeah, king f7 at least, bishop, bishop g6, g6 at least, yeah, at least also bishop d5 is also easily winning. But uh, probably it's just the. A value of the move. Bishop d3. Yeah, so I do not like this bishop f7. Nothing was hanging. Why not b5? Let's say if white just do the same. e5. But then we play b takes c4 and it's not that easy. And it's not that obvious. Oh, but maybe, maybe he, he was afraid of d5. This is the only reason. D5 once again. Pawn takes. Which pawn takes? Oh, that's absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree that B5 looks very natural. Oh, well, at least instead of Bishop F7, which maybe looks Knight classic. takes here, but still, yeah, but still. Um, well, that's a typical King's Indian stuff. Yeah. Even B takes C4 has to be considered. Knight C7 and Queen goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I would also think about Rook C8. If bishop d5, then rook d5, and I wasn't 100% sure that um, black is fine there. Maybe st they still do. Maybe they still do somehow. But at least, well, now it's getting complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he misplayed something badly there. His position was good. So, Alexei Yoganov scoring his f first victory in Super Finals, and yeah. 
disappointing Maxim Chigaev. Yeah, Maxim Chigaev falls back again to plus how many? Plus one plus score. One, plus one, yeah. yeah. Plus one score. Anyway, the game go uh the life still goes on. Nipomish against Yesipenko, this is the current position. I think it's more or less the same that we've been analyzing King E eight and out. I would also think about rook e four simple. Oh but f why not f five? Um Ah, ah you, so you mean ah sorry the pawn is hanging yeah mm -hmm. but after rook e4 a2 is still possible let's say we take on a2 rook c4 mm. <laughs> that is still 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 tricky still but the point is that the, even this position has to be winning for white but the, the h pawn i mean maybe maybe but rook, i'm i'm rook. but i'm not 100 percent sure no no the rook takes I'm not. rook h8 rook h4 yeah, for example we can try to calculate it and maybe king g6 king g6 oh, king, g6, king, king g6. g6 yeah king g6 i thought king i say rook king check. f7 then king f7 provoking uh-huh that could be the reason that probably still winning. C5 is played instead. Ah. Because it is a difference. Uh, but okay, but now... If rook C5... Okay, rook A3. Do we just transpose to the more or less the same position? Yeah, but then king F5 is possible. So this but additional, starting, starting additional from the option, check, maybe check first. King D7, king F5. Yeah. If king E7, then... Oh, then we need to think. Rook A6. Uh-huh, so... Probably black, black just doesn't. Uh, black is not in time. Rook c5 check. Mm -hmm. King g6. King g6. Rook c4. And maybe rook f6. And what is your next move? Rook f7. King e8. Rook f5 maybe. Ah, and the pawn. And now the pawn is falling. That's true. Yeah. So the king is too passive. White should be winning. What's going on in Fedosev against Dubov? Wow, not a lot of pawns on the board. C takes d6, and what if bishop takes g3? Nothing really. And if bishop takes d6, which seems to be even more principled, once again, so how Vladimir converting his advantage? g5 was played, bishop e3, g4, c takes g3. For some reason he didn't take on d6, probably because of what? Bishop of four back simply. Yeah, so he also didn't take on g5, and yeah, if he, why he didn't take on g5, I can't get the point. Maybe bishop b5 check. This is what he didn't like. Mm -hmm. Not that clear. But then c5 take, take g3 take take rook c2. Pinning, pinning, probably pinning the bishop. Bishop b5 still. King g1, rook c4, trying to activate the rook, at least to trade it. No, but then it looks... Bishop d6 is taken, and Vladimir is just, safe. Is just hopeless. Um. Scoring his victory against Daniel Dubov and heading to plus two. So we've got a lot of, I would say, less expected results. Obviously, I expected uh, the game between Fedosev and Dubov to be a draw. Mm -hmm. And Shigaev not losing to Gaganov. And it just it just does the whole results just doesn't suit the expectations. In Kraken against Artemiev, wow. Black's king's position looks quite exposed. Knight g eight and Kraken developed the initiative in this way, rookie for rook h for a very common maneuver but in different but in other types of openings. Not in Rui Lopez. Bishop of six. D five. Okay, well. Yeah, white is doing quite good. In terms of positional. Play king knight is seven h four. 
decided not to play rook c7 immediately. Oh, black is in danger. Black is in a huge danger. We need two, rook e7 probably wouldn't work. We need two, knight e5, rook e6 invading to the sixth rank. And can we simply take on a 5 rook e5, take rook h6? At least, at least. And being pawn up and this yeah. king's position is, is so is so dangerous. So Karakin is, st is still chasing, I don't know, he already reached Nipomishi and he will also be plus four if he wins against Artemiev. Wow, we've got no, a... No, they are, ah, they're both on plus three. They now. will be yeah, both right. on plus four and would we... And, okay, but the and game, in case of the equal the number of points... Both games are not, not over yet. Yeah, not so. over, but seemingly White is winning Kraken and Artemiev, and in Nipomish against Yusipenko, well, if we will have no more su like, surprises, so the game will end as, 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 as they are, as they should. And tomorrow, in case of a tie, we will have a tie break between uh, probably Nipomish and Kraken. And in case if Vladimir Fedosev wins his own game and both Nipomish and Karakin lose, it would be a tiebreak of three. And who else is in who else will be in plus two? I think Fedosev will have a sole third place. Yeah, this is more more or less clear. As Max Maxim Chigaev lost his game. Yeah, it's it's a bit sad for Maxim because he had a, such a good tournament. And I would I would rather expect him losing to another player. But uh, then it shows that this tournament is all tense and there are no weaker players. There could be less experienced and less prepared players. But there are no weaker players for sure. And even, uh, well, uh, not talking about the anti Mikhail Antivov who is absent uh, due to the health reasons, uh, talking about Alexey Goganov, who scored his first victory in all Super Finals he played. He's uh, he's a very strong and uh, stubborn, in a good sense of this word, player, and it's quite hard to uh, um, to crush him, to win a game against him. Uh, just remember, just uh, if you recognize the last game, yesterday's game between Yesipenko and Goganov, Goganov was trying to defend this awful position for for many moves, maybe for 50 moves. Right. Yeah, in terms of uh, the strange, I mean, oh, and this game is just over. Which one? Uh, Jan? Rook h3. And ah, so, okay. rook c4 was played, rook a5 first, rook g4, c6. Aha. Uh -huh. And all the, all the, all the time Nipomish right. is finding the way how to checkmate his opponents. King d8 is needed, rook a3, king c7, rook h3, and this is an easily winning rook endgame. Congratulations, Jan. Heading to plus four. Well, probably Sergei Karekin will join him, but his position is not that clear as Jan's was. Oh, still very promising. Oh, still very promising, and I would rather bet like 60% on... White's victory and 40% on draw. I can't believe uh, Black can win this one. Only if uh, Sergei blunders something very heavy, like Rook or Queen. And Blood is in severe time trouble. Yeah. Well, it's very nice for, for, for the whole concept that, that the tension remains until mm -hmm. the la very last moment, so very last round, and it goes for, for both, for mm -hmm. women and men's But you know, yeah, I just want to admit what I didn't really like in Jesse Penko's game, and I mean whole tournament concept, that he, with black pieces, he rarely opts for some active lines. I mean, they could be mathematically risky, but uh, let's see. He played against Karak and he barely holded this Petrov. But then he played against Jan, just the same line. And against Vitigov, he was suffering. And against Vitigov, I mean, uh, well, he's a young and active player. And I know a lot of games played by Jesse Penko won in a very, well, stylish, stylish, stylish manner. manner. But 
Well, I'm okay. I'm more romantic than pragmatic in chess, and I do. Well, I do expect from youngsters playing more active chess, but not better defense every <laughs> time. So, okay, play from, from time to time. Play play Rui Lopez. Play Rui Lopez. It's not less solid opening. Play Rui Lopez. Play G6 line, A6 classical. All the time in all of these positions, uh, Black has a counter play. Otherwise, they wouldn't be investigated so deeply on the top level. So, I mean, bishop h6, g h6, and now it's time for black to pray for not being checkmated. Okay, they were not, but still their position wasn't, wasn't that promising. Mm -hmm. So, well, it, it's... Uh, well, I'm not trying to make uh, to put some salt in the salt in the wool, but uh, that's basically my opinion. And I'm a, I'm very as as being a fan of active chess, as being a fan of spectacular chess. I do really expect some active play by youngsters, especially against the best grandmasters. I want to see them growing. I want to see them improving game by game, but not playing petro defense. And, well, even if Yusipianko has made a draw, I wouldn't be that happy of him. Mm -hmm. Because that's uh, not the way how you can play chess, he, especially being young. Mm -hmm. And talking about his opponent today, Jan proved to be well prepared in the opening, sacrificing a very creative, sacrificing yeah. piece and show up very with brilliant very, game. very, very deep calculations, good, very proper and, calculations. And very good Angian techniques. Well, at least the first time it seems like like this. So and this is Fedosev against Dubov. This position has to be clearly winning for white. King d3. Well, yeah, b4 will be played, probably. I think we can easily get rid of these pawns, right? We can, but... Because, like, a4 is creating an additional yeah, weakness. Nothing wrong with a4. Nothing also. wrong with a4. And knight c4 is the next move. I'd say b3, but then king c3. Then king c3. Yeah, I mean, a, a4 is even easier, and a4 was played, for instance. Protecting from king b5. And also knight c4 is a threat. Bishop g2 is played. Bishop g2, the only <laughs> protection against knight the c4. Can knight b3 be played, by the way? Knight b3, king b6 is the move, then bishop h4. Yeah. Yeah, simply black has to resign. Knight b3 is played, for instance. And for the safe is about to score a victory against Daniel Dubov. Well, that was a quite tense game with, uh, we, we should say, um, uh, th th thanks for Daniel for his creativity in the opening and his, his creativity, but it uh, just, uh, it just affected his, uh, oh, that seems like his game. Yeah. It played, King d5. Played out against him today. King d5. Could it be a chance? Practical. Knight takes a5. What was the point? Vladimir is uh -huh, I've got planning to, to defend his pawn, I think. Bishop e4. King e3. Bishop c2 is, a, is an idea. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, but well, probably still well, bishop yeah, e5. But, yeah, should but white be can play. King d2 instead of king e3. Yeah, you're right. King d2, but then it's not that clear. No, that because we be, will... Should be, no. Bishop f2, right? maybe. No, okay, yeah. This is not uh, advisable for white to, to, to... King d5 and... To, to remain only... Yeah, there is nothing wrong with bishop f2 simply. Bishop f2. Or I like it more than even bishop e5 for some reason, I don't know. Uh, being just two pawns up. So bishop h3 probably can be played. Knight a5, but then after bishop b7, white has knight c4. And, yeah. Bishop, uh, sorry, bishop, bishop, bishop f5. f5. Bishop, bishop c, knight c4, and then blundering, of course. And maybe now it's time to play bishop e1. Uh, bishop e1, right. That's true. Just a little accuracy required from... Uh, feather save, a little accuracy in Karakin against Artemiev. Mm. Knowing Sergei, he will take on h6. No, but now, yeah, no, I think that. Yeah, because we still cannot release the queen, but uh, why yeah, doesn't need to hurry? We can simply take on h6 and then we'll see what, what to do next. Mm -hmm. 
So what about the women's section? Kastanyuk against Gusiva, still the game is in progress. Wow. Black has a very massive pawn center. Mm. No. Yeah, white is simply lost. Absolutely lost. Kashlinsky against Giria. I think uh, rook b2 was played. Rook b7, e takes d4. That's the best continuation. So now black doesn't have any risk in comparison to the other lines. Rook takes b3, rook a2, rook b4, d3. It seems to me that this position is winning for black somehow. I just do feel it. Bishop c6, h5. With an idea to play h4, probably. Yeah, h4 is an idea. h4. So let's say if bishop takes d5, what was the victory? No, h4 was... h4, rook king h3. Bishop f5, g4. g4. No, that's true. Not, not that clear. But then we play d2, let's say. Rook d4. Still. Rook d4, and I do expect some s spectacular mm. <laughs> victory. Hmm. Not that easy. Not anyway. H4, G takes H4, Rook H4 is on the board. And now it's time. Now it's time to think. Could it be drawish? Can we, re can we expect draw in this game? With this such I kind I of pause? I think we can. Really? Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I still I'm, believe I'm, there are some... I'm, I'm not sure that black is not worse yet. Well, they are not worse, for sure. They cannot it's be worse. It's easier to play with white. If, if black is if not... It's easier to make a draw with white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, if black is not winning by force here, but then she risks to be worse. Not really. I mean, uh, if even if black gives up two central pawns, then it would be still probably drawish. But I'm trying to find the way how black can try to play and win. <laughs> so after d2, rook d4 is the only move, right? Because if rook h1, we can try rook c2 and rook c1. No, rook d4. Eh? So rook, rook d4, d4 There's yeah. There's no reason not to play d4, rook d4. And I, I think that Olga played rook a6 already. Mm -hmm. Ah, she so rook a6, rook a6 is, even, is even better, but, well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure black can really win there. Bishop takes d5, rook d6, bishop b3, and, uh, well, so seemingly white is stopping the d-pawn. And uh, now we'll head to the short break and promising you a very exceptional, uh, pro promising to show you up in a very exceptional guest. So stay tuned. And we'll be back uh, just in a few, we'll few back, minutes. Yeah. Yeah, stay tuned. See you.
уже свыше 40 тысяч жизней унес коронавирус с тех пор, как все началось. COVID-19 уже в 80 человек. Медики предупреждают, в зоне риска заражения в основном находятся пожилые люди. Им рекомендовано не выходить из дома без острой необходимости. Мы стали выявлять невидимых людей. Это те, которые живут в своих квартирах, не выходят из дома вообще в силу своей немощности. Люди были напуганы, была паника и была растерянность. Мы предложили организовать колл-центр по приему обращений пожилых граждан. Разместила телефоны горячей линии, памятки, как вести себя, к кому обращаться. Мы доставляли продуктовый набор, вещи первой необходимости. Keeping my promise, we've got Jan Nipomishi bouncing back from yesterday's loss and uh, again in plus four in kind of comfort zone. Congrats, Jan. Thank you. Uh, a spectacular game, but uh, meanwhile, as, <laughs> as, as you told me that you're a little bit disappointed with it. Please, can you explain well, and show uh, up the uh, critical moments of the I game? I mean, it's hard to see if I'm disappointed or not. Like, uh, I, you know, in the end, at the end of the day, I won. So it was, uh, of course, important, especially after uh, yesterday's extremely stupid game, extremely stupid, like can't recall something similar. It was like uh, repeating the line uh, which happened right before the game and then mixing up something uh, because, I mean, not even mixing up and just forgetting everything and then just uh, choosing uh, some weird, weird moves, which I would never play if I would just play this position for the first time, like bringing all my pieces away from it, uh, mm -hmm. moving all my pieces away from the king's side, letting him, like, his only active idea, e5, e6, e5. Yeah, so Steinitz I mean, rule doesn't work no more? No, I mean, okay, it's, uh, I, I, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's Steinitz rule, I think <laughs> it's idiot rule, yeah, so don't play like idiot. All right, so Took today, uh, well, Andre recently started to play Petrov, so... Yeah, so well, he, he was, solid. you were just following the game between Andre Yeah, and I mean, Sergei. okay, I, I'm just a uh, small... Uh, ju ju yeah, just... Yeah, you can give it. Yeah, ju ju just to show, sh to show something here, after bishop g5, okay, okay, it was my my game like three years ago or something uh, from uh, Charge Grand Prix. And here, after h6, knight h4, okay, this first idea was um, revealed. And uh, actually, I decided to go for the same because I still had the idea that, I mean, this is like, I had so, some prep here and I thought like, okay, still it's practically not so, not, so, not so easy to go. And in general, of course, h6 is all right, but in my opinion, like if black can play without h6, it's better to play without h6. Just, uh, it feels like this, because so, this just lets white, uh, just gives white some extra option. Uh, just, uh, well, actually, Andre played quite good, like, uh, what was here? I mean, it's all uh, all the strongest moves. Okay, so here is, uh, is very clever, like f6. Rook d1 was probably a new position for him, yeah, because I think it just computer shows, like, this is nothing, like, 0, 0, 0 at, at least, or maybe even uh, even worse for white, but actually here is not so easy for black to execute, and uh, just kudos to Andre, he played all the best moves. Okay, he spent quite, a, quite some time, but it's hard, it's understandable. Yeah, fr frankly speaking, I haven't known the evaluation, but me and my colleague just saw that, okay, if it's not a prep, if it's not zeros, it looks very dangerous. For yeah, black. indeed, indeed. It looks, uh, it looks really ugly because, you know, those pawns, f6, h6 are always, uh, always weakened. I mean, okay, for example, like queen c3 looks like, I mean, attacking one rook, defending on f6, but I think after this one, it simply loses, uh, it simply loses because, uh, for There's example... There's no protection against knight Yeah, like knight c6, I just play, for example, queen g6, so provoke mm -hmm. for queen d2, and here I just play, yeah, just play I just this move. And then I, then I win the pawn, and I play queen e4, and the rook just to finish the game. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was, like, an important line, but also a very simple one. So he probably he, he played all, all the best moves, and uh, here... Queen h7. Okay, probably white can try to play play on with, with you know with queens, but uh, I wasn't sure in this position anymore. Like okay, I couldn't uh, remember all the lines, all the new, all the finances. So okay, and here king g6, of course, like lucky moment for me, but both lucky and very, let's say, 
very shameful at some point because here I believe that after, okay, I don't see the computer evolution, I don't know. But okay, of course, after h5, of course, King j8 is the right move and then it just <laughs> like slowly develops. But it looks, from a human point of view, it looks suspicious. Yeah, but in fact, it's not. And here, well, actually, I believe there should be one or two ways just to win the game on spot. I don't know what to say. Maybe maybe I should play like this principle uh, here, here, I don't know, knight c6, uh, rook g6. Yes, it seems to King be here, rook g7, yeah, and then I play rook g3 and rook h3 no matter what happens, and if f4, then g4. But maybe, I don't know, he takes, rook I F4 take rook some. f4 and something like this. I was afraid if I'm not going to deliver a mate. I yeah, it, can be a it won't be, you know, a lot of fun here, so I wasn't, I wasn't sure, so I decided like rook b7 could never spoil my position here. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep, uh, rook b7, uh, a5, and here, well, the problem, yeah, rook e6 uh, leads to, uh, uh, you know, rook endgame, which, which looks winning uh, at first, but then, okay, black has very precise, few very precise moves, and there is... And black cannot avoid giving another piece back, right? No, black is happy to give the piece back, because, it, I mean, black is not getting mated. So here, mm -hmm. I mean, okay, uh, uh, the level of my frustration is hard to... I don't know, it's hard to imagine. But uh, it I was like really, you're, you're, really pissed. You're, 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 you're too critical to yourself because... Well, I mean, okay, it's like, you know, solving a study uh, in a practical game, yeah? So basically it's just a study, and, yes. you, and you've got to think for, I don't know, for one hour or something, and then, okay, come up with a solution. And I'm pretty sure the study is uh, quite simple, yeah? So I, I don't know, maybe I should play like this, yeah? Like here, here, and just provoke a five and play, for example, rook b6. So still preventing, you know, restricting the knight. We... And it looks like, I mean, it looks, frankly speaking, like, like completely winning, just not to let this sort of stupid rook game games happen. So now I'm going for rook g6, and then I, th I think once I play rook g6, it's more or less over. So your main idea is to play rook g6, king for rook b6. Uh, rook b6, yeah, yeah, indeed. So for rook e7, well, rook e7, for example, rook g6, king takes h5, and here, okay, this is just unbelievable if it's not a match. Then, then, then I don't know what is. Frankly speaking, we, we couldn't deliver a mate there. So probably, maybe I can just play slowly, like g3. Yeah, rook h7, and then... Uh, rook h7, then, okay, then I'm coming, like, king g2. But, then I mean, then okay, then okay, in practical goes, game, okay, it's hard away. to believe, and uh, the, the mate, like, uh, it's like, it works with all those small touches. So practically, I should have, I should have tried to go for some. I should have tried to go for some uh, prophylactical move, uh, in uh, you know, preparing myself for the rook game. And g3 is not quite uh, a, good, a good one. Okay, it's, it's logical, but I mean, it gives him you know some chances. I also mm -hmm. was wondering like c4 here, rook e6. And c5, yeah. Uh, no, here c5. Uh, no, c5 what? Uh, no, no, yeah, it's, come it's on. Pointless. Yeah, rook g7. Uh, you know, king f5. Here I wanted to play g4. So if king e4, uh, then rook e7. So he has to play king e5, rook d5, king e6. I was calculating f4, wow. and here rook f7. So if not rook f7, he's losing. But here I wasn't, I wasn't like, I wasn't sure anymore. So yeah, but pardon me. So rook a7, rook a6 instead of knight a6. The point being that my idea was if you, if the opponent plays knight a6, you play c5. But then if rook a6 is yeah. rook b8, could rook b8 also be played? No, or I, this is just I don't draw. think. I think it's all the same story. Like rook. Okay, perhaps here he has like also like rook d1 and rook d2. I mean, giving me extra checks. So I thought like g3 is quite logical. Like bringing mm -hmm. my king closer to his yeah, at least king useful. and trying to go for some mate. Well, all right. This is just has to be analyzed. And uh, I mean, okay, if I you know when I come to my room and I switch on the computer, it like will show me the solution like in one second. But. Uh, Promise us here you won't be so disappointed. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. You know, it depends on what I see. Like, if I see like uh, <laughs> some uh, some tricky, some tricky rook endgame, then yes. But if I just see a mate by force, I mean, okay, this would be this would be absolutely shameful. And here I had like uh, I had a delusion that I'm going to I don't know play for mate or maybe rook g8, rook g6 at some point. So king mm -hmm. h5 never works, but in fact uh, it does. So he played rook e2, king g2. Uh, I thought may, might be a3 is more clever, but it's like very, very, very hard to find any ideas. So here I just decided, okay, let's just try at least um, get the end game two against one. So this, of course, a draw, but uh, you know, you need to show small precision because it's like one of the least pleasant positions with this h6 pawn. I believe once, it's on a, once the pawn is on h7, it's more drawish. Uh, for some reason, then you can just stay passive. And but with pawn on h6, there is already you know some some work to do. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, but here, here I'm not sure. Like King F3, I wasn't sure what I'm going to do after, for example, Rook E4. So this is like mutual six flank. Maybe King E3 still. Yeah, King E3. Well, first and foremost, uh, you got to show something after King G4. F3, King G3, Rook F5. So I thought, like here, in case of Rook C4, I still have this trick, like King D3. Maybe Rook F4 works. I know no, it doesn't. no. After after Rook F4, you got to go, go and study some pawn games, I believe. No, I mean, no I do. okay, well, yeah, so yeah, it looks like uh, looks like very, very losing, yeah. But, I mean, in the worst case, I can take one e5, yeah, and play this uh, rook game, but, you know, yeah, that's unnecessary. But actually, after rook e4, I wasn't sure, and king f6 finally gives me, you know, some serious chances. I, I'm not sure anymore, like, this is a draw. So I thought might be f4 makes mm -hmm. very, very small, but still sense, and then try to swap a pawn for c pawn. Uh, but, you know... Might be I can c combine uh, threats against the king, uh, pushing f pawn, and at the end of the day, I just okay have this uh, extra so you, pawn protecting yeah. me from behind. So you just wait for your pawn to play a4, then you play f3, king f4, right? Yeah, okay, f3, king f4 is coming. So here I think it's not so easy a task for, for black anymore. Uh, so what happened? Ah, okay, stop repeating. Gosh. Yeah, king g5. Yeah, f3 coming uh, g4 for the next move, and here king f4 is an important move. So basically, I'm going for rook f5, uh, sorry, rook c6 or king f5. Both is going just to mate him. So this is necessary, this is also necessary. And here I felt like the last chance maybe to play h5 to make sure the pawn um, is always attacked. And here, first, uh, at first, I was very angry on myself because I played uh, rook c7 at mp, and instead I could just try f4. Which could also make some sense. In case of a4, I had this important rook g6 check, inviting the king to h7, and here, okay, this is no, not a big deal anymore, so I'm just. thinks I'm just winning. But is, is it a big difference comparing uh, no, to. No, I'm not so sure, I'm not check. so sure, but uh, I, was not, I was like very angry on myself that I didn't came and calculate, so instead, uh, uh, okay, rook g7 shouldn't spare anything indeed. Uh, but I felt like maybe here is uh, some important moment which I missed. So here, a4 was a better try, but I think after e4, I have an important move rook. Uh, rook h7. Yeah, simply being in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in case, okay, in case of rook h2, then okay, then it can try, for example, king f6, uh, king goes, and here maybe rook e7 in some way. Fair and enough. then it's, uh, there is no fork for those two pawns, and then I give this extra check like rook a check, invite the king to d7, then I check and I win this uh, endgame like, because, uh, okay, basically his king is in, is in the wrong place, yeah, so it's, it's, it's never yeah, ever a chance. Size, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, never ever a chance. So, well, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, well, you know what happened next. So first, I thought I wanted like to play something uh, clever, like in G4. But then, okay, I thought like, well, if G4 is not winning, then this position is not winning at all. Yeah, so just let's. Then okay, then I just pushed. Basically, Rook C3, King uh, F6 uh, is more or less the same story. Or I can also try Rook C3, King G6, indeed, and then F5, F6. I mean, typical G5 uh, c covering the king. So, for example, Rook C3. I don't know. Some um, umbrella. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, whatever you, you call you, it, using for example, an umbrella, five, yeah. I don't know, e2, here, here, here. It's a very typical, I believe, uh, takes, and here, I think, like, I have many different ways to win, for example, give a check, and this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, okay, four, then, okay. Or maybe just better to just collect the pawn, and because of my pawn is so, uh, is so far, uh, I, I, I can just slowly promote then. So, I mean, here I think it's just winning. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I could miss something. Okay, c5 is one of the ways, and here he took. I thought, like, my bh5 is a try, but, I mean, okay, it's, it's hard to believe that, okay, black can. Okay, if the pawn was on h2, it could be a draw, but, you know, the pawn is still so far. So here, I basically just even can try putting my pawn on c. Okay, it's, it, it looks good, and he can't really move the rook from the fourth rank, because, okay, this is over immediately. So, say, if rook uh, c4... I mean, even the king, king g6 shouldn't spoil things, I think, too much. Yeah, rook, rook check back. Yeah. No, I saw rook g4 back, maybe. Ah, just to use. Rook g4, okay, but. Okay, rook g4 is smart. Hang on. Now, please don't show me a draw here. So, I mean, uh, here, rook c4. I, I don't see it, but uh, I would rather see a, a victory for white. Maybe King G5. All right. In, 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 in the very worst case, I can, yeah, can give, give a check, this play check King and G5. play King G5. Yeah, yeah so that's if I'm the very, one, if I'm like very concerned about something, if you're very here. scary. Yeah. So if King C6, I can go for a pawn game. If he takes here, I play like this and yeah, then Rook cut, four cut, and just cut, cut, cut the King. Off. Or maybe there is not even mm -hmm. necessary to cut anymore. Mm -hmm. But I had some uh, bad, uh, you know, memories. 
bad memories of my recent game with Lech Kuan Liam uh, from the Rapids where I managed to spoil like a uh, theoretical position. Uh, not for the first time on, oh, oh, in my life, but still was uh, painful. Yeah, all right, so here I think yeah, it's, more, it's more or less over. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so, well, full of life. No, uh, game, full of life uh, game, yes. Me well, not. still, uh, you're, you're, you're too crit uh, it seems to me that you're too critical to yourself. Well, it's, uh, you know, there is like uh, the question is if you're going to find a, a solution to uh, some mating combination, and it actually happens in your game after your preparation. I mean, of course, like, uh, I, I couldn't remember if anything is written, and probably not, because King J8 is like by far the only move. But uh, still, uh, I mean, the problem that I wasn't, uh, to be honest, I wasn't even trying to solve this. I just didn't believe that there is a mate. I felt like, all right, this rook game is good, but the rook game is basically nothing yeah, after rook d2. Okay, he, maybe I can keep some chances, but mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, not, not really So what do you be really surprised funny. if king g6 loses by force? And uh, that what you've shown up in the game is just the best solution? No, that are okay. What has shown up in the game is the best solution. Then okay, I won't be so critical, but uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's so that's not, that's, it's what, what, that's what I'm trying to explain. Pretty sure about. it's uh, incorrect. Yeah, it, no, but anyway, I mean, like in terms of being human, your game was just very, very good, good enough. I would say good Thank enough. Thank you, but I think uh, it couldn't uh, go that way without some huge help of my opponent. <laughs> Okay, too critical. Anyway, thank you, Jan, and good luck in the last round. Thank you. Уже свыше 40 тысяч жизней унес коронавирус с тех пор, как все началось. COVID-19 уже в 80 российских Медики предупреждают, в зоне риска заражения в основном находятся пожилые люди. Им рекомендовано не выходить из дома без острой необходимости. Мы стали выявлять невидимых людей. Это те, которые живут в своих квартирах, не выходят из дома вообще в силу своей немощности. Люди были напуганы, была паника и была растерянность. Мы предложили организовать колл-центр по приему обращений пожилых граждан. Разместила телефоны горячей линии, памятки, как вести себя, к кому обращаться. Мы доставляли продуктовые наборы, вещи первой необходимости, перчатки, маски. И у нас не только психологическая служба, у нас еще юридическая служба, социальная служба для тех людей, которые оказались в ужасающих условиях. Перед тем, как выехать, позвоните, пожалуйста, участнику. Бабушки все предупреждены, но они ждут вашего звонка. Здравствуйте. Куда можно поставить? Вам берегите здоровье. Мы не можем. Мы не заразные. Что-то надо будет? Ой, девчонки. Мурашки по телу. Вы эту камеру, да. будете разговаривать со своим сыном. Сыном. Я чувствую, что я не совсем брошенный человек, что кому-то еще я не совсем безразлична, а это много значит. Они так о нас заботятся. Дай Бог здоровья. Всем дай Бог здоровья. Единственное, что бы я хотела сейчас, это просто вас обнять и расцеловать. Коалиция — это про то, как много могут сделать люди, когда просто объединяются. Я чувствую, что от каждого из нас многое зависит. Мы вместе — огромная сила. Солидарность — это норма. Солидарность — это норма. Солидарность — это норма. Солидарность — это норма.
We are back to the studio after the interview with Jan Nipomishi, who scored the victory today against the youngest participant of the men's super final, Andriy Yisipenko. I'm quite curious about who was the youngest participant of super finals ever. Could it be, uh, I think, Daniel Dubov or Peter Swidler, one of the first or the second? In the super final? Yeah, I think Dubov probably. No, but Peter started playing Russian championships when, on the epoch when uh, Super uh, didn't exist. So. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, I mean, like, uh, I remember Daniel playing a Super Final in 2012 after taking silver in the preliminary higher league in Tumen. So, the chess, well, they, obviously chess is getting younger, and I remember the words of Anand, if you're not given master at, at, at age of 15, you can, I mean, you can go and change the direction of your interest. But basically, it, it's, it's not a truth of the last instance, and it's not a certain truth, and there's been a lot of examples of Anand being wrong. Let's say Levon Aranyan, his star hadn't, had, hadn't risen so, so early, he became a grandmaster maybe at age 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. Anatoly Karpov became a grandmaster at age 19. No, but it was another epoch. Yeah, it was another even epoch. at 33 or something. Kachno, yes, but then it wasn't that easy just to deserve the, uh, to get the title. Mm -hmm. But still, there are, there were some games that whose peak was uh, reached in 30s, like mid 30s. So here we have uh, the current position in Kashlinska. Yeah, game. Yeah. So black can play bishop f7, but then after rook takes d3, rook takes d5, yeah. bishop takes d5, then king goes c5, and then takes take king g5, followed by g4. The easiest draw. Yeah, the draw should be. Should be. You read. And uh, yeah, feel the same if uh, eventually won against. Dubov, yeah, bishop c3 and everything is protected. Knight b7, knight transferring to the center, to f4 square probably. And ah, so knight goes to f4. Yeah, so that's that's an easy win. That's an easy win for. Yeah. Well, it's easy. It, it it's an easy end game for uh, Vladimir, but before it was quite tense and Daniel played, too, Daniel played too artificial, in a very artificial manner. So I can't see all finesses of this position, but also d5 could be the move as we figure it out. Anyway, rook takes, rook g2, king f1, rook b2, rook f2, white is a piece up. Well, black has some compensation, but it shouldn't be enough to make a draw. Then they started pushing pawn, c4. And now it's time to reconsider the previous strategy for black. Everything is spoiled, a lot of weaknesses. And white simply converted their material advantage. Crack in our team if is still in progress. Rook e8 is on the board. White is a pawn up, and it seems that white position is simply winning. Well, well, not maybe, simply, maybe, not maybe simply, maybe not but winning. Maybe not that easy. Well, queen e7 is a threat. Queen e7 is a threat. Um. And if rook f7, then at least we have queen e5. Queen e5 be should, be, should be good enough. I and mean, transposing into probably winning mm -hmm. rook end game. What about king h6? Ah, but then maybe... Queen C2, yeah? Queen C2 is somewhat very unpleasant. Queen C2. Okay, draw is agreed in Kashlinska Aguirre game. Yeah, and Gunina Ganemov Expected. is the last, last remaining game in the women's section. So we have two games uh, remaining. So <laughs> that was the position, and then one pawn being eliminated after no, 10 no. moves, and also the, the bishop being traded on the knight. Rook f6. If black swaps the queens of the board, it would be easy, an easily winning easy, easy position. Winning, yeah. Rook f6, so this is one of their intentions. But, well, 
in comparison to the position 15 moves 15 moves back 15 moves uh, ago white yeah. has deserves uh white has we cannot say that the black achieved a huge progress yeah, yeah, white, white has achieved some something at least they traded all the pawns the less pawns you have on the board they the more drawing chances are. Rook f6, and there are a few moves on the board. Queen yeah. h8, king is 7 queen h4, pinning, pinning. pinning the, the rook. Well, that's uh, queen e5 is the move. Mm -hmm. okay. So we need to push something. We need to play a5. We need to. Well, maybe with some checks just to, to, to eliminate yeah, so the queens So now queen b4 from the is not a good because at least queen d6 is yeah, possible. Yeah, but white king, has king to avoid it. King e2 should be played. And king e2, and then is that, that's it's not that clear yeah, how that, that's how why maybe the queen, queen f5 I would, I would probably consider as well. Is there any difference? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm threatening king f1, king f2. King f1, king uh -huh. f2. Yeah, I this see. Is, Okay, anyway, it should be winning, and there is no necessity to analyze it in the practical well, point it of should view. Well, it should be purely technical position, yep. yeah. And queen f5 is played, yeah. Okay, good. But uh, Alisa is getting short of time, so maybe this is a, the Valentina's hope. So queen b4 can be played, but then rook d6 rook check. Rook d6 check, yeah. And then it's just the same idea, right? Mm. Queen king d3, queen d3. Yeah. Sometimes and if queen c1, can we trade the queens? No, maybe not the immediately. Same manner. Maybe, maybe now something like... Yeah, well, can we can include a5, let's say, which is not going to be oh, a5 useless. A5 cannot be bad, yeah. Anyway, it should be winning. And uh, Karakin against Artemiev is the last remaining game in the men's section. g4 is played, probably the smartest practical chance. G3 is, G3 is threatening. But let's calculate if there is any force line. Queen e7 check, king h6. I do not really consider queen e3, of course. But then queen f2 is oh, maybe, maybe Maybe just check, yes. King g5. Queen g7. Uh, uh, king f5, right? King, king f5. f5. But still, rook f8. Rook f8, of course. Queen ah, but D1. then yeah, yeah, no. Queen, queen takes B2. Me, uh, no, then Queen G takes B2. Then Queen, queen G6. G6 queen which G6. is somewhat unpleasant. Sure. So Rook of Rook of Eight check King H2. G2 G3. G3. That's a brilliant tactical. No, but still King takes G3. King takes G3. Maybe not that brilliant. Still, still no checks, right? Uh, yeah, no, no reasonable no, check. No decent checks. No, no yeah, no reasonable mm -hmm. check. So, so this, this I'm, one not, I'm not sure that transposing to the queen's endgame is, is, is the easiest way. Okay, let's try to find the way without the <laughs> transposing. What about queen, queen e5? Queen, ah, queen of f2 is, is hanging, sorry. Yeah. Queen e7, king, h8, king h6, check, king g5. Once again, queen g7, king f5. Maybe there is something else. And for instance, I can't find the threads if we simply play h6. But it's better to improve the placement of all of the pieces. Right, yeah. So rook H8 even rook G8, rook G8 rook is also considerable. If black tries to implement the same idea, then we just take with the king. Maybe no, there is nothing wrong with rook F8 as well, maybe. Because rook F8 and that queen's endgame maybe H-pawn. It should be winning in many ways. Mm -hmm. And both players approaching to the time trouble. Ah, I've got the point. Queen e7, king h6. And then we play rook g8 there. Mm -hmm. Still. King f5. King f5, maybe. F king f5, queen d7, somewhat unpleasant. Okay, but uh, what's your point? If g3, king f3. Probably. Or what but is queen, the idea? Yeah, but no, queen, but queen I, 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 I do not believe it maybe, can be. Maybe queen e2 here. Queen e2, but then I, I also like g3. Mm hmm. I do also like g3. King f3 has to be played. And then queen e1 threatening something. I, I don't believe it can be something. holdable. Rook e8, rook e3. 
This is my point. Mm. If rook e6, then queen, uh, rook f8 for sure. Mm -hmm. So it should be easily winning, otherwise, yeah. So this, this is also a way. g4 is played, white should check. Nothing wrong with it. What about Gunina against Grama? Ah, so the queens are already traded. Yeah, then it no. should be easily winning, yeah? Yeah, More just uh, we play king d6. And yeah, if king goes e4, then we push the king towards the a-pawn. Then a5, king b4, a4. Mm -hmm. I can put the pawn on f6. Yeah, we can there put the pawn on f6. There is nothing wrong with yeah. that and just... Any time. Just at some point we will sacrifice and change winning the pawn and mm -hmm. that should be easy win. Yes, yeah, so this is easy winning position. Easily winning. Queen e7 is finally played. King h6 is the only move, otherwise there is a mate in two. So queen e6, king h6 is Rook played. Rook h8 is also played. Rook h8, king g5. And now white has a choice. And now I would rather play rook g8. This rook g8 is, is played, yeah, indeed. Your move is played. Maybe queen king h4, but then... H, 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 h. What, what about the king h4? Could it Just be g3, followed by queen, ah, followed queen, by queen, 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 queen e2. Ah, then maybe some tricks with rook f2. No, but I'll hide with the check on f1. Yeah, yeah. So this is no, the no, way. No, no, no tricks. This is the way. It's unbelievable <laughs> that this position could be holdable. Oh, but maybe queen e2. Queen e2, queen c4 st <laughs> still. No, I, I cannot believe it, but well, ah, yeah, just no, trying you know, to check you know, all you know, the You possibilities. know, I see. Yeah, queen e2 immediately, right? Queen and e2, then queen c4. And rook g4, it doesn't work. No, but then rook queen c1 there is. Ah, but rook g4 here. First? G4. No, no, no. King h3, rook g4. No, but the point is queen c1. Ah, queen c1. Yeah, yeah and mm. white losing. So we still have to be precise. Yeah, but then just a simple way, g3, play queen e1, queen e1 is threatening. If queen d3, well, there might be a lot of options. I, I, would, I would rather pick rook g6. And then <laughs> black is forced to protect the queen f1 mate, which is kind of unpleasant. And if rook f7, we just play h6. Now that should be easier winning, I think. Rook f2. Wow. <laughs> queen takes. King h4 is played, for queen instance. Queen h4 is played, yeah. So this the is the last, only practical chance. chance. Yeah, last otherwise chance. the white has a plenty of options. And then we need some precise calculation. So let's... I do bet on g3 still, but I can't find a clear way to win king h3. And that's a bit shameful for me. But why not queen e2? No, but sorry, sorry, what? Ah, then it's not. Ah, I, I was thinking about queen e1 first instead of g3. Ah, queen e1. Queen e1. But then the pawn is pinned. Yeah, my, my idea is g3. But then maybe you can take an h5 somehow, right? Maybe h5 will be taken. Well, I mean, it's not that forcing. No, no, no not that forcing, but... Once again, king h4, that's a good time to stop and uh, review the initial calculations. But, uh, there, I mean, there is, this is nothing wrong with it, for sure, because this position is, has to be winning, for sure. No way. So g3 a little bit spoils our, exploits, uh, exposes our king. But still, king h3 and... <laughs> still hard to believe that. Still hard to believe that black can be holding. Once okay, again, queen okay. e1. Queen e1, rook d3, queen d3, right? Queen b d3, and that's fine the way. Now, what about simple rook e8, rook e2? <laughs> Not that simple, but probably works. This is one of the ideas, for sure. Rook c8 can be tried. Queen h4. Once again, g3. If king h5, we mate quite in a simple way. 
queen h7, queen f5. Right. King h3, queen e1, queen d3. And rook e8. And rook e8, trying to block the the black's queen out of the f1 square. And there is no tricks. Yeah, this is the clear way to win. Rook c6. Rook c6, but then we still play. Oh, rook maybe h6, seven. Maybe even h6. Rook c1, take, take. H6. H6 was an idea to play h7 and even queen h6 mate. Mm -hmm. D4. H7. H7. D3, and there is a mate. Or h8. <laughs> or h8 rook. <laughs> So what can be a problem? And G3 is played, yeah. Sergei did not find any single problem, so he goes for it. <laughs> and is about to score plus four and catch Yeah, sh Jan sh share up. the first place with Jan Nipomnesi. Tomorrow these two guys need the steel nerves and the cold blood because they will probably have a potential tie break. Mm. Probably Sergei will be given a chance to. Um, yeah, but yeah. Sergei will be given a chance to take revenge. Yeah, queen e1 is played, queen d3. Or queen c4, is there any difference? No, queen c4 allows additional rook c8. But okay, still rook e8 should be good enough. Yeah, but rook c8 is even stronger. Queen d3. And there might be some other reason. Yeah, just waiting. For our team, if to react, queen d3 or queen c2 are two only moves. Yeah, and let's let's have a look. On How Alisa is converting her advantage. No, no. I, yeah, well, should I decide where where the king goes. I wonder in this game, mm. instead of king goes back, instead of Grigory Vishwal, there won't be any surprises. And against rook, against the minor pieces. Arrow goes h2. King goes back to d4. Then check from h4, then probably. Check from h4, and depending where king goes, black will choose probably different direction. But if we just took off the, if we take off a pawn, so the board. But then it's tricky. Is it, is then, it winning at all? Then I'm not sure, depending on. I'm not sure, not sure. There could be a sort of fortress, but it's eight pawns. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's much simpler. Yeah, still Sergei takes his time. No, it's, it's Vladislav. Quite to play. Ah, sorry, Vladislav. It's quite a solid performance for Sergei. So only losing to Jan and scoring. Five victories and making four draws. Yeah. That's impressive. So, and he won against Svidla. He will win against Artemiev. He won against. Uh, let me think. Trying to recall. Against Matlakov. Mm -hmm. In Catalan. He won against Vitugov in Berlin. Yeah, it's black. Yeah. And what is the Nikita. fifth vi victory? I don't remember the fifth victory. But by the way, he's beating exceptionally uh, 27 players. Yeah, so he drew against Goganov. He drew against Chigaev. He drew against Fedosev. Yeah, so <laughs> games against 2700s are 
considered as the pre most principled for Sergei. But well, he just shows off his very, the, the chess of very high quality. Rookie 8 indeed. And now it's time for Vladislav to, to resign. And it seems that Vladislav has some troubles with the black pieces. So all of the, his losses come to... Yeah, but in general, <laughs> opening is, is not his... Main strength. His, 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 his yeah, his strongest point so far and well in, black, in white yeah this I is mean, this is what he has to work on obviously right, right so he's being quite dangerous with white because you never know what he will choose to play it can be any kind of rate english d4 e4 c4 so that's why he is exceptionally strong uh, with white pieces and i may recall a lot of losses with black pieces not being able to come out of the opening. I, I may recall a game against Dubov in Vikanze, against Firuja. There has been a plenty of losses. But uh, in general, Artemov is just, is just an outstanding player. No, he's smiling. Not to the... This is a chess professional's life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is this is not your day, Vladislav. No, but again, it's not about luck. It's about the no, no. Uh, today it's is a, not about luck. No, yeah, no, it's about all, being well. It's about being a three hard working all the time. Is it a trap or is it just a desperate? No, rookie two. Desperate move. Rookie two. No. Okay. Yeah. So I, the idea I, that if no B takes Sergei, I, ah, B takes rook, rook, rook B six. B six. Rook B six. Then. Okay. Rookie two. Rook takes F two or something. I know, pardon me. Rook takes f2, queen takes f2. Yeah, rook d1. And queen f1 would be an error. Yeah, take, take a2. Take, take a2 in white. Losing, but rook e1 is winning. No, pardon me, queen b1, yes? Yeah, rook e1. Yeah, queen f1 is also winning, yes? Takes, takes. Ah, yeah, of course. Yeah, rookie yeah, one. Sorry, sorry. So rookie white has a, so white has a huge gap. Okay, let us stop. Just resigns instead, and we'll have a very exciting round today, tomorrow, the last round of the Russian Super Final with two leaders on plus four and Vladimir Fedosev on plus two, just behind them. Well, one point. Well, I still them. do not believe. Uh, it could be a tie break for three. No, no, it's hard to believe. Uh, it's hard to believe that both leaders can lose in the very decisive moment. But fight among them will be. Yes, so Artemi resigns and Gunin Agalamo is still in progress, but. So no, white uh, plays this, uh, E4. This did not play F5. Yeah, the reason was that maybe Bishop D5 could be answered, but, but still, I think that position is uh, probably. Uh, winning, but maybe no, but not it, that it, simple. It's, it's easy winning. We just put the rook on a4. White yes. has to play bishop c4, then we play rook b4, yeah. and, uh, and so no, on. Okay, yeah. So a lot of yeah, suits No, no need to, to hurry up to, to take an important decision. So, yeah, the position is absolutely winning. So rook b, b8, rook b4 check, king goes to e5, then one more check. King f4, and then rook takes e4 at some point. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, Valentina, th this year Valentina has such a mm, high level of inconsistency, I would say. Right. I mean, she can easily win like a few in a row and then lose few in a row. 
and it's I I can't even say that the result depends on the mood. Yeah, rook h8. By the way, it's funny. I don't know what was wrong with rook, for example. Ah, h1, bishop b3, right? So she wants to bring a rook to b4 to mm -hmm. be sure. Yeah. yeah, it should be easy winning. Probably the highest level of consistency uh, belongs to Leah Garifurina. And this tournament, certainly. certainly yeah. which of is course, and uh, Alexandra Goreshkina. Yeah, and Alexandra, both, both of them. She yeah. used to be the most consistent player in women's chess. And they both did not suffer any single loss mm -hmm. at the moment. Because in the men's tournament, the only player who haven't lose haven't lost even a single game is still Vladimir Fedosev. Because Karakin lost uh, to Nipomish, and Nipomish lost to Dubov. Mm -hmm, yeah. Dubov lost a pair of games. So, funny, funny enough. So, the man who, who comes third is still unbeaten. That's all about consistency in this particular tournament, but Vladimir has a lot of ups and downs, usually has a lot of ups and downs. And, well, it depends on the shape, mostly for shape and probably mood. Oh, mood, well, uh, ob obviously mood depends on his style. Yeah, well, o o obviously style. mood shouldn't affect the game. But yes, his style is, was, is, being, ag is being quite aggressive. And uh, he is that kind of player that never resists from um, complex and... Uh, double-edged positions, he like, mm -hmm. usually comes ops for them, and that's all about taking risks. So, in comparison to Sergei Karakin, he's just, he differs uh, drastically, and it means that uh, Sergei, well, I'm not being, blaming Sergei Karakin, but it's just a difference between the styles of play. But Sergei Karakin, when, when he's been given a chance, he usually uses it. Yeah. It's been shown up in many tournaments, in many occasions especially in the World Championship match 2016. So he's been given a chance in game 8. He won with the black pieces against Magnus Carlsen. But uh, probably the difference is, I mean, his level of risk estimation is uh, quite high. Right. And that's why he loses so rarely. And remains very solid and maybe not aggressive enough to, to be in the very top. Yeah. But maybe again, maybe that's not a matter of the style of play, it's all about consistency. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, hard to understand what Valentina is thinking about in this position, but yeah. Well, she decides where to retreat with the bishop, but... It doesn't really matter, yeah. I mean... She, she cannot prevent rook b8, rook b4. And maybe she'll still considering, um, like, if black plays rook b8, then I play a3. But then probably black will somehow get rid of this a3 pawn, forcing it to play e a3, a4, and then b4 square will be weak. Mm. Yeah, another long game. And it would be the last game. And how many points Gusiva has, by the way? Plus three. Really? Gusiva went to, yeah. And now she shares the third place with Lea Garifulina, or I'm mistaken? In right, exactly. Wow. She, she ties for, for, for the third. I, frankly speaking, I... I didn't expect this, that kind of result. Mm -hmm. But I, rem I'm, I remember the times when Gusev was even much stronger. She had almost 2500 rating maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, she, she, she used to have 22450, this is for sure. Not, not because I remember I played a game against her on her, sure, on her peak. She was like 2460 or mm. she was 
strong enough. Well, she's still strong enough, but well, less consistent, I would say. An absolutely winning game against Pogonina. Then I think she lost two in a row at some point, at some period of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, but look how Galamova plays and Kashlinska. So these two players played uh, a spectacular game against each other where Kashlinska was the <laughs> the beneficiary, <laughs> I would say it. And uh, both of the players haven't lost a single game and I think they lost only yeah, a half like of a Garifullin, point. and Garachkina, yeah? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, they only lost... Uh, after the game they played against each other, they only lost half or a point or maximum a point. So after playing a really battling game, which forces you to make a lot of... I mean, forces you to waste a lot of energy. And it seems that you should be exhausted playing the next game. But somehow your uh, body finds the, an additional energy, an additional strength and uh, you somehow recover, but your brain is still active and it helps you in the, in the next games. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is just an argument in, in, in favor. I mean, is it an argument? Uh, it's an argument for, against uh, the quick draws and the quick games. For example, you can be easily out of form after making a few quick draws, despite the, despite being relaxed. Okay, Shade, can we f put the full focus? Ah, so the move just been made, right? Bishop c4, Bishop c4 is played. Bishop c4, but... <laughs> but still. It doesn't really change anything. Seems like Rook goes to a4 then. So Rook b8 will be the move. Probably Alisa can already made it. Uh, can, yeah. Yeah, rook b8. Rook comes to the fourth rank, forcing White's king to retreat. Alice Michalna is not the player who can miss such an opportunity. Not kind of player. Yeah, yeah, he, her, her technique is quite good. And nerves as well. I mean, you need to have a good techniques in general and just not to collapse, at, I mean, under pressure. Mm -hmm. A4. A4. What is this? Yeah, I would rather play A5 first. A5, Bishop B5, this is a point. A5, but Bishop any B5, waiting but then move, any made waiting move. Yeah, then a white mean, black through go back, goes backwards. No, 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 just rook B7. Yeah, rook b7, this is Suxwang. Just rook b7, it's not about tempers. I would play a5, I think Alisa will no, well, do the You know same. what is the point? Some practical chance, at least. A, a5, I play bishop b5, rook b7, king c4. King e5? King c5. Rook b8. King c6. In takes. King c7. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I think yeah, you can still <laughs> you can still retreat. Uh, go king d5, king c5. Then pawn goes, and it should be easily winning still. Yeah, it should be. So easy. I mean, like, even I found a, a semi trick, but it's still lost. So there has been no necessity. A5, bishop b5. I would rather play rook h8. Then rook, rook goes on b4, and yeah, the game is over. <laughs> A5. Also, another, another way to proceed is rook b4. A5. A6. King c3. Rook a4. And so bishop takes, well, I mean... Rook takes c4, but I, I, I don't like this Literally, pawn. yeah, I, mean, I, I want, I, to, I like I, I want, to, I want to take all of the pawns, so yeah. I'll play a5. A5, yes. It's good, good math. Anyway. And a5 seems to be the most technical. Yeah, then also, also if you, you don't want to allow that, that stuff, you can play rook b7, king c4, check. Mm -hmm. King d4, rook c1. And then rook b1, rook b4. I mean, just to prevent any kind of activity. That's maybe the, 
the, the clearest way. At the, at, at, at the this, most proper at, way. At, on a certain point, at this point of the tournament, you would rather opt for the most solid line. With round 10, everybody is exhausted. Mm -hmm. Not in general. But, I mean, this would be a good idea to... And I don't know why still Lisa Mihalin didn't make a move. Yeah, putting the rook on b4 after a5. A5 okay, uh, rook rook b4, b4 first. A5. No, this, I, I would not, I mean, support this. Maybe the point being that if a5, we still can play king c6. No, 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 a6, six. A6, a6, I think. Do we need to put our pawn on the black square? I don't really, on the white square, White square. Yeah, the point is, yeah, this is about concrete. No, okay, maybe not, maybe not, yeah. Yeah, also, also, not a6 will be played anyway, a6 will be played at some... Yeah, like yeah but maybe you're right, yeah, and then... I don't want to put my pawns in the back, mm -hmm. back square, uh, white squares. Okay, yeah, I agree, a5, just, so before. just king c6, or a, a, rook a4 first, right, just not giving any, mm -hmm. any uh, choice to, to your opponent, rook a4, a6. Yeah, and this is basically a uh, two swung, so yeah. a6, king may, c6. maybe even more technique. King c6. Yeah, the point being that all pawn game games are, are lost for white. a6, king c6, king has to retreat. King c5. Bishop has to retreat on d3, otherwise we take on e4. Rook a3. Yeah, this position is just unholdable. So mm -hmm. that will be probably the way how the game will be over. <laughs> and this is the, that no, kind of it's, position it's, it's, that it's doesn't also, also require... It's funny about Valentina that now she's, she's thinking but Probably there is nothing to think about. Yeah, it's time to resign. I mean, and, 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 and sometimes when she needs to think, I mean, she, she, yeah, she, she plays very quickly in some critical moments. No, okay. Yeah, and this position doesn't require a time spent at all. So no, Once again, king c3 is the only move, but... I mean, uh, this position could, 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 can be won in 10 seconds with black. On the pre move. Oh, such a player as Galamova. Indeed, she doesn't she doesn't need more in this kind of position. Mm -hmm. Even the the most precise. Yeah, it's a set, set position for Gunina. And how many points Galamova has? Uh, she will have plus two, I think. Just plus two, not more? Plus two. Mm, no, maybe not. Okay, it has to be checked, but she performs quite well there. Especially after some ki th that kind of lockdown and a big timeout, chess. I don't remember her playing chess what this year. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Jans? Well, I, I'm pretty sure that Sergei will remain quite solid with black tomorrow as usual. What about Jan? Will she opt for some... It depends whom he plays against. So he plays against... But anyway, his repertoire is quite aggressive, so maybe she will just stay with his repertoire in Grunfeld. No, or it's not I all know, about the... Or neither of Right. So Jan will play against. I'm trying to figure it out. Did he play against Artemiev? Hmm. Good question. Frankly speaking, I don't remember the game. Maybe. Okay, well, we'll see the pairings. And the, uh, in the cross table, it would be. 
clearly shown whom, whom everybody plays against. Anyway, we are looking forward to very exciting last round tomorrow. Yeah, and a potential tie break for sure. And potential tie break, right? Which is, I, w I would bet at least 50% on tie break tomorrow. I mean, in both sections, by the way. Mm -hmm. So still, Gunina's game is in progress, but it's no more a game. Well, unfortunately for White, it's not even a knight on c4. No tactical threats, and everything is perfectly placed in, in the black's camp. Really yeah, so there is no necessity to show the board. Maybe let's just put the full focus on the the playing hole. No hope, unfortunately. Or white. And it seems to me that Galemova just reaches Grifulina and Gusiva. I don't know why. I'm still. No, no, no. She not, doesn't. Yeah. Not yet. She's still half a point behind. Yeah, putting the bishop on b7 would give white some slight practical chances. But still, still, that's king. But still, yeah, it will I be mean, some kind of tsuk tsuan kind. Oh, no, but just exchange sacrifice on e4 would decide anyway. Yeah, I mean. yeah, I mean, like, uh, let's say, transfer the king to f4, oh, put, oh, put the bishop this on b7. Is too much. Yeah, this, is this is an is ideal plan for white, but still, still, it, it still is lost. Yeah, king would be just moved from e4, knight king would come to a e5. Yeah, it will be not that, not that hard for black to do. Oh. She's still there. She's there for something like 30 years already. Lisa Golamova. On the very highest, on the very highest level, level of competitive chess, she's been over 2,500, I think. Yeah, she used to be. But she's still an international master, right? She did. She didn't. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't. Or, know. or she's a grandmaster. Uh, she's a I, I believe she is. She is a grandmaster. Well, at least uh, she used to play like a good men's grandmaster. So how many uh, men grandmasters do we have in uh, the women's section? About ten or something. Okay, no, no, I mean men, resigns. Yeah, so at the moment, you mean? Yeah, Gunina, Gurechkina. Ah, you you mean? Kostinuk, ah, you mean in this, in this yeah, yeah, event? Yeah, yeah, in this event. Gunina, Gurechkina, Kostinuk, and probably Golemo, right? And probably Golemo. I think Natalia is not. But who knows? Or maybe maybe, maybe, maybe Natalia. Maybe Natalia, maybe Natalia is also. Her master. Okay, that's basically all for today. today. And Let's tomorrow the we'll have the decisive day of Russian Super Finals. And Valentina is still trying to explain something. Maybe what she has bundled during the game. Yeah, we can see that she's being a little emotional. Yes, and uh, tomorrow Nepomnichi cracking 7 out of 10 in the men's Super Final. Shuvalova 7.5 out of 10, Gureshkina 7 out of 10, right? Yeah. And uh, let's take a brief view on the cross tables of the both sections of the round 10. So here we have the result of the day. Many 
uh, decisive games. And uh, actually, only one draw is uh, the, the game that it finished in five minutes. So mm -hmm. all the games which were really played, I mean, ended up uh, by so the victory of one of the players. what will be the... And the so. last round parents. Jan Nipomyshi playing against Maxim Chigaev and Sergei Karakin playing against <laughs> against whom? Against Daniel Dubov, right? It seems Absolutely. Like Absolutely. Vladimir Fedosev facing Andrei Sipenko is also gonna be quite intriguing. Yeah, so nothing is clear before the last round of of the Russian Super Final, so and in the women's section, and in the women's section we've got yeah. So this the this, there are the results of today. Gusi was scoring another victory with black pieces. Yeah, and playing, like plus Korch, three. playing like playing like <laughs> sort of. And uh, yeah, that's it's quite a rare situation that in the women's section they have less decisive result than in the men's one. Yeah, only two. Decisive yeah, I mean, games. just a strange day from its beginning, as I already explained. And yeah, and we have Polina Shvalova is still in the lead and sole lead, playing against Olga uh, Olga Gire in the last round. Right. Alex Alexander Goreshkin are facing Tatiana Getman, being a half a point behind. And good chances to reach Polina Shvalova, for instance. Well, that will depend on Polina herself. Will she manage to hold against Olga Gira or even, even overplay her experienced uh, opponent? Mm -hmm. We will find out tomorrow the same time yes, 3, 3 p.m. Moscow 3 time 3 p.m. Moscow time so round 11 the round final 11. rounds of Russian super finals no doubts we will have a an exciting, a, 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 an exciting day a full day of emotions of intrigue of pro potential blunders tricks traps and, mates and stalemates beautiful games and beautiful games so see you tomorrow 3 p.m. Moscow time uh, round 11, the final round of Russian Strongest Tournament, Russian Super Finals. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye bye. Уже свыше 40 тысяч жизней унес коронавирус с тех пор, как все началось. COVID-19 уже в 80 часов. Медики предупреждают, в зоне риска заражения в основном находятся пожилые люди. Им рекомендовано не выходить из дома без острой необходимости. Мы стали выявлять невидимых людей. Это те, которые живут в своих квартирах, не выходят из дома вообще в силу своей немощности. Люди были напуганы, была паника и была растерянность. Мы предложили организовать колл-центр по приему обращений пожилых граждан. Разместила телефоны горячей линии, памятки, как вести себя, к кому обращаться. Мы доставляли продуктовые наборы, вещи первой необходимости, перчатки, маски. И у нас не только психологическая служба, у нас еще юридическая служба, социальная служба для тех людей, которые оказались в ужасающих условиях. Перед тем, как выехать, позвоните, пожалуйста, участнику. Бабушки все предупреждены, но они ждут вашего звонка. Куда можно поставить? Вам берегите здоровье. Мы не можем. Мы не заразные. Что-то надо будет? Ой, девчонки. Мурашки по телу. В эту камеру да. будете разговаривать со своим сыном. Сыном. Я чувствую, что я не совсем брошенный человек, что кому-то еще я не совсем безразлична, а это много значит. Они так о нас заботятся. Дай Бог здоровья. Всем дай Бог здоровья.
единственное, что бы я хотела сейчас, это просто вас обнять и расцеловать. Коалиция — это про то, как много могут сделать люди, когда просто объединяются. Я чувствую, что от каждого из нас многое зависит. Мы вместе — огромная сила. Это норма. Солидарность это норма. Солидарность это норма. Солидарность это норма.